quest for gaming. Let us find some gaming. Beautiful SMW related gaming. After rescuing the princess, many times, Mario and Yoshi decided to play a game together. But the evil Bowser has stolen their Super Nintendo. Whatever shall they do? Go. Uh, Yoshi's house. Let's go to Yoshi's house. I like Yoshi's house. Let me steal his mail. Code. Hey, Mario, wondering what's behind this door? Well, it's a surprise. To beat Bowser and I'll let you in. Guess I can't do that yet. Clearly there's something hidden here. Because I can do this. Hey, it's a uh, Herbo's theme. There's something going on up here. Take a moment and see if I can... Ah, uh, I think I need, like, tape or something to get up there. There's clearly stuff there. Let's go to Pleasant Plains with our Yoshi. Eh, yeah, chaotic music. I playing that last night. Uh, it was interesting. Also, a giant headache, because I was using an actual 32X. Try this box. There we go. Eh. I think a Yoshi at this point is just kind of cheating. Let's go back to uh, standard Mario. What's in the tube? You have 30 minutes to move your tube. Blue coins? Okay. Hey, Mario! I once heard that blue coins often serve as a landmark of, good, of a good place to take flight with a feather. Interesting. The feeling squirrels I'm gonna change unless I, uh, do something. Okay. Well, that's pretty sweet in a Mario 3 kind of way. Be the gradient, too. That's a nice gradient. Bandicoot hacks. What, uh, what song's gonna play when you get the star? Probably my favorite was, uh, oh, Yoshi! That pesky Bowser! I can't believe he would steal our Super Nintendo! And all of our favorite games, too! Let's go kick his butt, Mario. Agreed, Yoshi, agreed. It's an egregious crime he has committed. Stealing all of our video games. And a Yoshi coin for my efforts. Hi, Yoshi. Horse, a horse. Oh boy, there went the horse. I think I dropped him in a drink. Oh well. It's not like I probably needed him for any other secrets. I have a feeling there's a secret up there, so we're gonna fly up. Yeah, there's definitely something up there. Oh, a moon. You love me a good moon. go up and lose our cape immediately. We found the moon. I guess this is a bandicoot hack of uh, that sort, so it's important to get the moons and the coins. The question is, which way is best to go? There was an up option. Hint! Each level in the game has five dragon coins and a hidden three-up moon to find. Can you find them all? Well, so I'm gonna try. A little bit of flash there, but eh, it's not the end of the world. 
probably should have a marker down just because of the HDMA thing. Marker? HDMA thing about 15 seconds ago was a bit flashy. I think it. Well, let's just do the loop again just to be sure here. Yeah, it's a little annoying, but really, eh. Given the stylistic thing, I don't care that much. I'm glad I went that way first, because then it prevents me from having to do this part again. I bet there's something over there. I think I need the ability to get up there. Which is going to be a bit of a trick, given I accidentally got rid of my cape. Or maybe you just need to use the conveniently provided switch. Sweet, all five. I have my uh, dragon coin. I got the one up, so I can die now. Oh man, if you dab, right? He likes that ASM. I'm not sure I like that ASM, but there's something to be said for it. Right, everything but beating the level checked off. That's good. Midway works. Always important. Yoshi! So convenient, as opposed to having to grab it from down there. We'll just kind of uh, fly through the level now. I think I'll just kind of be a dumbass. That's a really dumb way to die. I don't have any excuse there. Let's try that again with a little less failure if we can. Ooh, ooh, less failure. I keep scaring my Yoshi for the sake of scaring my Yoshi. A secret one up. And you can kind of go over the level if you feel like it, but who cares? Okay, you can get... Uh, you can't get stuck in it, though. And that's a very minor issue. Too long as I've done the moderate. And I should have grabbed some stars just in case. Yoshi here is highly advantageous. We got in here. Three Yoshi one up. Always a fun thing. Three Yoshi. Three time jumps result in your dad. Pretty sure you've come to uh, come to grips with that. quite like this as much as levels. It. You can collect coins and dragon coins by throwing shells at them. It's super useful when they're in tough locations. Good to know. Mm. The star is not as advantageous as I was hoping. It does not uh, build combo. Right, done with that. through the slow bats. Good spot for a mushroom to spawn, but all right. Not complaining. Not complaining at all. I feel like, uh... 
Oh, that was close. I wonder if I can actually get up there. I'm one block shy, which should mean I should be able to do some fancy flying here. Nuts. Alright, well, sometimes sadistic testing doesn't pay off. Oh, right, there's wall jumping. It's a bandicoot hack. Completely forgot that was a thing. He really loves that ASM. Nothing wrong with liking that ASM, just he really loves it. Gaming indeed, how you doing? Who don't gamer? End up picking up one of uh, this Bandicoot hack that's been sitting for moderation for a while now. It was submitted before last year, so. It'd be pretty fun. I like Bandicoot hacks in general. Had a lot of fun with the last couple ones I've done. This one isn't a re-moderation, which makes it even better, because then I don't have to worry so much about uh, what he's really changed since last time. This has to be where the moon is, though. Sneaky. That was indeed very sneaky. Sometimes you need to play a level in a different perspective to get what you want. Why don't you try bringing Yoshi here? Or why don't you try bringing bring Yoshi here, I suppose, what it actually said. Alright, so I need to bring a Yoshi to the end of the level, which I think was clued a little bit earlier. I don't think you get uh, star credit for beating levels in this one. That being said... Right, I need Yoshi. There's a convenient place to get a Yoshi. So let's grab a Yoshi. I get for not turning on the heater. Alright. New plan, don't die, keep Yoshi. Let's see how well we execute upon this plan. I don't want to die to stupid things, like Wigglers. This level's not even that long in general, I guess. I, because I went through a pipe, I guess I didn't see all this part. I didn't die at the midway. Oh, I should've done that earlier. I gotta do one more lap through this then. These levels are short. I was remember to do that. Brought the Yoshi, it doesn't. Actually, if I die and come. Eh, we'll just do it at this point. Not saving any times. Yeah, Burger Trigger's uh, theme right there. Toad's Item House. Toad's Item House. Hmm. Take a power up or buy? Do I buy a guava? Good question. Guavas are pretty cool. what that did. Either way, we didn't. Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, that's a different color check mark. That's interesting. I don't know why you would have done that, but okay. Let's go do the quick thing here. Need to officially dive the mid after getting the midway, just to make sure the midway works. Space them doing that the first time around. But you have to get all of these items, and they don't save on death. You definitely have to pay more attention to what you're doing. And I suddenly see the star in my box. That's what that did. The thing you like about Bandicoot's Hacks is there was almost always a hidden world slash level in Yoshi's house. Yep, there totally is. I can't get... I can get to it now, can't I? I was thinking when I was there, I needed a cape to 
get up to the uh, important bits, and now I have a cape so I can get up to the important bits. Let's find out about Toad's house, or Yoshi's house. Because there's stuff up here that I wasn't able to access before. I got the moon at least. Purple's track remains a, a, a banger. I want to check those pipes. Try to be more careful this time to not exit the level. I suspect that all of the important stuff is hidden inside that door that I can't get inside yet. Gotta beat up Bowser first. Our plane's like a dream. What do we got here? A bunch of shy guys who are currently exercising on treadmills. You cannot use them that way. This box. Reserve cape is uh, a exclamation point. Yeah, that's pretty common with this HUD. Not really sure why. I do that. Mario RPG music. Testing comes for the uh, the new randomizer version. I really need to put some work into that. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Right, there we go. In other exciting news, we did find out the uh, and Knuckles number. I need to sit down and actually uh, write a web page about it since I. Some things that are interesting to say about it, I suppose. Especially the fact that uh, 32X makes a huge difference in terms of how the end knuckles and knuckles stuff works. Current theory, extra power. Otherwise, no idea. Could easily get uh, off one of these. This feels so cheap. Every stage is at a star. Uh, you know what? I think actually I'm okay with it. Every stage is at a star. I'm okay with this. We haven't found the moon yet. Oh, wait. Ah. Wasn't ready for that. Yeah, they're immune to cave. And immune to everything else. I like that fellow. Um, there was a mine here. Feels like a spot to hide a thing. Could a Mega CD make a difference? I think so, actually. Um, one of the sections is going to be further work, further research, and that will actually, you know, pose that as a question. 76 seconds to get one more coin. Okay. Cool. Love the variety of music in these hacks. Bandicoot makes good music choices. Definitely does. Alright, so I found the coins, but not the moon. But yeah, I gotta figure to add into it whether or not the ver a specific uh, type of Sega Genesis makes a difference, which it very well might, honestly. Still don't know. So, just again, further research is necessary. This happens sometimes. end up posting the uh, summary on Twitter at some point. I didn't find the mid one. Uh, I didn't find the moon. There is, in fact, still a moon to be found. Yep. So wait, we're gonna go back.
My guess is it's not in a pipe somewhere, it's just in the sky in some spot I didn't check specifically. Look at this one. And down that pipe. I realized I could easily get light off this. Yep, there we go. I guess that's convenient. Um, hmm. Oh, there's the moon. And a way to cross most of the level without doing any work. Yeah, you can kind of wiggle yourself in there. And not, nothing too important. Yeah. Some stun chicken that's a pal and knuckles cart. Mega drive. That might be a bit more challenging for me. What's up, Were Goose? How you doing? Hint. Your game is automatically saved each time you beat a level. Or get all of its collectibles. Sweet! I love when game save. Hint. Yoshi can help you on most of the levels of this adventure, however, there will be some levels where he can't help you. Do most of the hacks I moderate turn into 80 plus exits of Yoshi coins and moons? No, I would say for the most part, no. The problem is those specific hacks tend to turn into like a slog of like three or four or five or six streams. Just because the sort the midway in the last level. I did. I died right after I got all the But it's a valid question. Um, it does, in fact, happen. I was uh, kind of torn between this and... Kill this guy first before I try to do the stupid thing I'm trying to do. What? Oh, that's lava. <laughs> kind of funny you can go inside this level's ground. Uh, it happens more often than you think. Honestly, an awful lot of people don't seal off the top of their levels. Uh, and sometimes that's a bit of a problem. Um, depending on how you've designed it. I'm a little bit less sadistic about this than other moderators are. The 1-Up dude is like the expert of getting into the wrong parts of levels. But I try my best to at least non-sadistically try to find all of the spots I could easily get to the top of the level. I fully admit, like, if I was going to like be doing like, level testing for someone, that's a thing I would do. certain that pipe goes somewhere. It's not certain I can easily get in there with the tools I have right now. Yoshi would make it easy. I'm gonna have to come back here. Well, there's an X. Yep. That's not built into the game. That's something that my stream does. I have tooling to make that happen. I mean to, like, make a heat map of all the spots I die in various hacks, just as a thing to do, but it turns out that making a heat map is actually more annoying than I thought it was. I thought it would be something completely free in Python, but it wasn't. I'm not lazy, so I haven't done it yet. In midway, I've only found one. I suspect there's another dragon point in the pipe. Oh, hello. Oh, I know what's going on here. with me. Um, anyway, to finish the thought I had between this and another hack that was relatively short but difficult. There we go. Hold up. It's I can.
just one of those things. I can mention pretty much everything in the moderation queue right now is just humongous except uh, Russian Man's C3 thing. Which, I was that was the other one I was contemplating. Then where does the bottom half go? There's a dragon point. Oh, you tricked me. Good, good play, man. Good, good play. Sounds familiar, but I don't think it is. Can you all jump on the screen board? Yeah, I just did, apparently. It's weird, but I don't think it actually has any gameplay effect. So many secrets. Too many secrets. Big Bandicoot is a real C Tech astronomy. scroll can be beat with continuous all jumps and cape. Interesting. Excuse me. You know, that's something I hadn't considered. But yes, I think it probably could. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. I got all the dragon boards. Um, is my only option to beat the level? Forget to explore the map and all of my brother's houses, Mario. I'm sure they will help you out. I'm not. I'm not ready to beat the level. Yeah, I do enjoy having a lot of secrets um, to search for. I don't know what's in that pipe. I'm probably gonna come back here with Yoshi because of the whole like Yoshi hint. Five seconds before this. I just wanna cape yet. Yeah. I always find it interesting how many uh, hacks are willing to give you a cape so early on. This cape breaks so many things. It makes things so much easier. Tape without stars. Do I like it aesthetically? I just don't know. How do the death marks actually work? Um, I detect when I die. Or that's not what I wanted. The death marks work is I am constantly reading things from the Super Nintendo for various reasons, um, and one of those is whether or not I am currently dead. If I'm dead, then I detect also where I am on the screen and where the current scroll is, and use that to uh, draw a marker. It's a little bit more complicated next. I have to convert between world space. Hey, the Yoshi exploded. I guess it's the level where Yoshi can't help you. Wish there'd been a marker or something to tell me that. Okay, fine. I still think there's got to be a secret something in that pipe. First off, get rid of that.
it's probably not worth the effort right now. But I'll put a marker down to tell me to go and try that later. I might just turn on water mode or something. Any Bandicoot hack makes you feel a pleasant and relaxing experience. I don't know about relaxing. I would say the uh, latter part of... Uh, was lots when I did the uh, the crown tail was pretty dang nerve wracking, but it was only near the end of it to be fair. But the last level of uh, of crown tail was definitely a, a tricky one. Leave my park my Yoshi. I didn't park my Yoshi in a good part of town, and now he's gone. My feeling is that specific block is going to have a vine in it. Let's find out. Could have gotten up there without it. Let's make it easy. Constantly read whether 71 is 9, I think. Fuck did that thwomp come from? Where did he go? Um, I couldn't tell you the addresses off the top of my head. I wrote all this stuff like years ago at this point. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things. I keep track of sub level, I keep track of level, um, I keep track of positions. All of that is then sent over the wire and it uh, is used to figure things out on the other side. bot doesn't know that much about that sort of thing. It just kind of figures it out. There, it delegates it to the, uh, the JavaScript that actually does that kind of thing. Oh, they save. You know, I didn't expect that. not played this well for what I was trying to get done. Where'd the wing thump pop come from? It just came to the ground and got Thanos snapped. Yeah. It just kind of came and went in a way that was very unexpected. Maybe it spawned from a different screen. It was just weird. Either way, I'm not going to make the same multitude of mistakes I made last time. Just the one of them. It would apparently also wake up really quick. That's the mistake I made last time. I'm not unmaking mistakes at this point. Was it worth it? It might have been. <laughs> oh, there's something up there. I shouldn't have killed that one. Well, the fact that uh, the Dragon Coin save is actually a pretty good, uh, useful thing to know. I didn't know it before. I've gotten so used to character changing that really Diagonal Mario doesn't phase me anymore. Let's see if we can get up there. With a trick or two. There we go. I think the intended way to do this part would be to uh, jump on the thwomp, but uh, we kind of messed that part up. Why is Mario running like Diagonal World? Uh, because this is Diagonal Mario. What's up, Kappa? Kappa decided I should be playing as Diagonal Mario now, and so I am. It happens more often than you think. Um, so one of the other things I got rigged up is, uh, being able to swap out the character, sort of, at will. And Diagon Mario is one of the Marios I have. Nothing up here. Disappointing. I expected there to be something there. 
Wait. Right, it's Bandicoot Act. That's what I get when I uh, forget what I'm doing partway through something. So yeah, through the power of USB. Also uh, capable of changing out which kind of Mario I am. It's a long story how I got there, but uh, it's one of the channel point rewards. We have a few other ones. Um, a few other weird things, like having in-game notifications and other things via the power of SD or USB to SNES. To say, I think this is probably the most popular thing I built, though, is swapping out Mario characters. Like Luigi, like Daisy, I think, um, a few others. I was very reticent to put Luigi in, but people really wanted Luigi, so everyone gets Luigi. Oh, Womps are weird. Oh, there's two exits here, right. I answered your previous question. I am not entirely sure I have, I'll be honest. Really, it's the constant reading of the state. I keep track of where Mario's position in the level. I keep track of where layer one is, and I can use that to translate where he is in world space. And then I have a separate web page that overlays the entire stream that keeps track of where I've died. And it's responsible for drawing the death bits. So, between knowing where... I've died in world space, knowing which sub-level I've died in and which trans-level I've died in, the whole thing kind of works out. There's a little bit of math involved in the translation, but not a whole lot. I the moon? I didn't find the moon yet. But that's the basic way it works. And then uh, the pin is drawn, it's a... PG that TJB gave me because he got tired of there being a terrible version of it. The original version just had a Courier New X in it, and it didn't look very good, I will admit. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, the sublevel? Yeah, I read the sublevel. Um, there's like four or five addresses I'm constantly reading. Well, like ten addresses I'm constantly reading, and sublevel is one of them. Star doing? I'm not entirely sure. But the answer to most questions is just careful reading and application of the data that I can get out of the read mirror. I love that read mirror so much. It's so convenient. All the SA1 stuff was so much more difficult for not having it. sublevel it is? Did you patch in level numbs if you don't find it one in the hack? Uh, nope. So far, I've not encountered a hack that had problems with the... Uh, it did something different than the conventional uh, this is where the sublevel is according to the grand map. I just haven't run across that yet. Or more accurately, maybe it happens more often outside of uh, in the world of SA1, but I haven't encountered something that didn't use the standard sublevel stuff. Second color check mark keeps throwing me for a loop. I'm gonna guess this is supposed to be kind of a spooky level. Of course, all spooky levels are made marginally less spooky by having to have Mario with you. And Yoshi. Oh, Slackener and eight friends. That's where you might have missed something if I was looking. I think I found everything in that level. Always a good moment to just take a second and stretch after a raid. Oh! 
<laughs> Desi. Sub slack. Slacker. -er. Slack -er, er. Yeah, that's your name, huh? What I get? That's up there on the screen. I should be able to read it. Uh, uh, Slack's character stands until someone else to choose something else? Yes. You know what's up? Of course I do. <laughs> How you doing, Slacker? -er? What were you up to? What were you playing? How's life? Playing the Bandicoot hack. Zelda speedrun, so fun. Uh, Zelda 1, I assume, or Zelda 2. There's a lot of Zeldas out there. Zelda and the musical catfish. Zelda 1, nice. Hope that that's working well for you. It's not an easy game to speedrun. There's a lot of weird stuff in that game. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing great, Desi. Finished up a couple long-term projects in the most recent uh, time, and I'm busy working on a few new ones. Life's pretty good, all things considered. A lot of projects I've been working on. It's just nice to have a few of them done. And in fact, on uh, on Saturday, me and my friend Squiggles discovered exactly how many end Knuckles cartridges you can plug into a Genesis and still play Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So we now have that secret esoteric knowledge. And the answer is, of course, 12. Couldn't have gone back to the ocean. Hagno Mario. Uh, Link's crossbow training. Haven't uh, seen that one. Could have been Faces of Evil, I suppose. Though, again, that's not a game most people want to play. Anyway, I guess I should explain. This hack doesn't usually have the Agno Mario as its character. Um, that's something we have implemented here on this stream. So, uh, one of the things I do beyond moderating Super Mario World ROM hacks for SMW Central, the place where you can find an awful lot of Super Mario World stuff, um, is I mess around with the USB port on my SD to SNES. And so I kind of have some amount of latitude over what the game is doing and what data it's reading and how it works. And we use this to inject message boxes into the game and, of course, change characters. This hack uses a pretty standard, slightly... Oh, goodbye, Yoshi. Uh, slightly different... This pipe anyway. Uh, Mario Sprite. So it's a little bit unfortunate there. But we're using the Sprite from Diagonal Mario 2, the Ultimate Meme Machine, which is a really interesting hack made by a Brazilian hacker, if I'm not mistaken. Whose name is, eludes me right now, but it's a really cool hack. You should play it. If you like really weird trolley hacks. It's a weird trolley hack. You're curious at that image I shared with you for a while back. You shared it with some friends. Oh, nice! You find the limit of carts with Knuckles the Echidna in Sonic 2. Sonic 1 Blue Sphere is in any game with Blue Sphere. Um, Blue Sphere did its own kind of weird things by the end. Um, Sonic 1, we didn't try anything with. Sonic 2, we came to the conclusion that the maximal number of Sonic 2s was um, 7. Because we had 10 in Knuckles cartridges, it was pretty easy to come to that conclusion relatively quickly. The second, this is the second time we've been doing, we've done this particular science, um, because after we did it the first time, we ran out of a knuckles carts. If the number is going to be greater than ten, and you only have ten carts, you you know have to stop some. You have to stop at ten. So. But anyway, I plan to like uh, type it up and put it on uh, Twitter, make a web page explaining exactly what happened, what my theories are around it. Because it, it's honestly kind of difficult to summarize really quickly. Because the answer is 12, unless there's a 32X involved, then it's 10. Except for the fact that, uh... I found the moon, and I still need to die for the midway. Um, if 32X is involved, you get 11. And the game is perfectly playable at 11, and things work normally. But if you have... If you're not plugged into a 32X, you can get up to 12, but things get really weird. <laughs> Um, and of course, 12 with the 32X fails in a completely different way from a 12 without the 32X. It's very strange. We need to, like, make little video clips and all that. I have some theories that mostly relate to how much power the game uh, system is getting, but beyond that, I don't have a better idea. But we're actually the 
all of the cartridges are using a lot of power, which is unexpected. So. Uh, 13 Sonic and Knuckles cartridges, the Sonic 3 game wouldn't load. Uh, it, no, it, it still loaded, it just would crash really quickly. Um, so it would load, but it wouldn't work. Like, basically, you'd press start, and the game would immediately hit, a, hit its reset vector. There's gotta be a way to get in there. There must be a pipe I've missed. Uh, whereas with 12 and the Sega 32X... That's not the way to get in there. You could, um, still play the... Uh, 11. So at 12 with the 32X, the game was would occasionally be kind of playable, but the level geometry wouldn't load correctly. It was really weird. Where is that? Out of the midway, I guess I can just do this. The wrapping OAM, yeah, it got weird quick. So with just the Genesis and not the 32X, sprites got corrupted quickly. Blue Sphere was basically unplayable because the entire playfield for Blue Sphere was uh, shifted by about uh, a fourth of the screen. And so whenever it rotated, it would rotate in the Oh, thanks for following. Um, slacker. Um, the entire field was rotated in a way that was actually like nauseating because it was, it was rotating around the wrong axis. The sprites were all there, but constantly flickering, and it looked better on the CRT and on stream than it did on the projector, because we actually, like, brought out a CRT uh, to speed things up a little bit. And also because CRTs are funny. And I have a CRT now, I guess that'd be the third reason. Where could you be, you tricky little moon? What's the be with that? a lot of pipes. I might have just missed one. It depends a full report on my findings. This is fascinating. You're free work this project for those who are interested. Here's a summary of the experiment. Yeah, that was the old one. Um, that's the old picture. We have a bigger, we have a taller one now. Uh, I'll need to get that picture out and post it on, on Discord and whatnot. I'll get that one out after the stream and get it somewhere accessible. Maybe I'll get their own drop Yoshi in a pit again. Yeah, that's fair. We actually put all 20 and knuckle scripts. Actually, that's another... Oh, crap. That's a large number. Uh, dear God. You need a feature message box alerts you every frame or further... <laughs> this is the closest you've been to winning. Oh, my. Uh, lots of text. Lots of people. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my message box. Um, right, let's cancel this one. Well, thank you for following Apprehension. Apprehensions. That's a good name. I like that. Oh, and thank you for following Inky Dom. I can pronounce that much easier. And is X. Guttural. I enjoy it. And John82 Black Sheep. And Meat Loaf. I like that too. I think it's. Uh,. How are you all doing, all of you lovely people from Tass's stream? How was the, the Grand Pooh World grind? Assuming that's what you were up to. Um, and thank you for following and uh, demonstrating my... The fact that I can't keep a Yoshi up across that stupid gap. Yeah, thank you very much for the raid. Thank you, Desi, too. You're always lovely in chat. For reminding us of things we need to do when I forget to. And it's tail time. Um, so I guess I should give an explanation as to what's going on. Hi, I'm Pat CDR. Uh, I'm currently moderating a hack by Bandicoot for SMW Central, your place where SMWCentral.net, a place that has all of the SM, SMW stuff that you could possibly want, except for a few random hacks. Um, and what's going on here is. I am playing on my childhood at Super Nintendo, but uh, I've got a SD Disness. Oh, that's extremely good with art. Thank you, Desi, for demonstrating. Uh, <laughs> um, 
have an SD to SNES hooked up to it as the cartridge. And what... Oh, I understand that. Uh, thank you, jQuery, for 100 bits. I, I, I'll i tell a story. There's a funny thing in here. I'll explain in a minute about some Zelda stuff that never actually got seen by the day, light of day. So, got the USB port on top of the SD to SNES. I'm currently messing around with the ROM and the RAM that allows me to do this sort of thing. Yoshi, stop it! Okay. So that's that's the summary in case I don't get uh, in case I get interrupted again. Is the power of USB to SNES compels me to do all sorts of interesting hacky things. Um, and one of those features I built. So I did something for Link to the Past a couple years ago when I played it, so you could swap out the Link sprite to whatever uh, you know any of the things on the current uh, Link to the Past randomizer. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tessie. Um. And the feature that never really saw the light of day was injecting emotes directly into that game. And the reason for that was I only had three colors to play with. Three colors is not enough to make anyone's emote look any look good. I spent a while testing with like Jez High, and it was terrifying. Like quite literally, some sort of creepy pasta-esque thing, and I just the, the, it just failed completely as a feature. I needed, either needed a better way to quantize the images or I needed to have more control over what was going on uh, in the game, which I just didn't have at the time. Next time I mess around with it, I might have more control, and maybe that feature will come back, but nah, I doubt it. So, now I can go and read things. Really quick. If I move more than one friend, this is supposed to ever be the winning. True that. Somebody blinking. Just gonna look at names really quick while we're up here. jQuery, of course. Uh, enjoy, make go. Every time I scroll up, it scrolls down. Matt Drizzen. Thank you all for coming in and raiding. Curtis Tridus. Feeling that, that there's a joke here I don't know, but it, I appreciate the follow. Right. Uh, magic to SNES or regular API? No, I, I brought all my own stuff. Do you need to actually spend money on bits for that emote? Uh, for the Pat CDR Butter one? Yeah, you do. Uh, that was uh, an idea Fiskbit had that uh, I eventually followed through with because uh, it's from a hoax involving Bio for Save, which is a weird little bit of uh, online Nintendo prototype history. Which I guess I could show y'all if, if enough interest is there. I do have the uh, Famicom out. And it didn't explode this time. I now have a working AV Famicom, unlike last time, because it exploded last time. So. I'm gonna finally read the message. The context for the message is that there is a Lord of the Rings called LOTR, but every time Sam takes a step, let's he'll be the first he's ever been. Oh, I got it. I got it. Um. Yeah, spend money on bits, uh. No, I do not like few USB to SNES. I have tried it. It is terrible. It is inconsistent. It does not work. I actually wrote a thing that used it because I wanted to see how the other half lived. Um, and in fact, for people who are using few USB to SNES and uh, are interested in having an easier way of moving stuff to your Super Nintendo, not... Which of my own dang thing? Uh, USB. God awful build process. Everyone hates the god awful build process. So I wrote a thing that allows you to copy ROMs over easy from Lunar Magic, if that's your thing, uh, using the QUSB at NES thing. But we'll see. Anyway, um, but no free to play. Sorry, that that one emote. I was not going to have any emote slots. Attention minions, looks like Mario is here and he wants to steal my Chrono Trigger cartridge. Please don't let him take it. This explains so much about this world, actually. There's been a lot of Chrono Trigger music in this hack so far. The uh, the plot of this is that uh, Bowser has stolen Mario and Yoshi's Super Nintendo games and they have to get them back. Which is still way better than the average uh, hack plot, I will admit. So... I can shoot to the two, that's why you asked. The uh, star, or dollar sign and equals are ignored. That is true. Um, I should have read the message on the chat client. The problem is, is that there is no... Um, there's no glyph that matches that. Like, because Mario isn't looking for money or equal signs in 
Mario World, and so I can only work with the glyphs that are already in the game without messing with SRAM or uh, VRAM, and I'm not generally a fan of messing with VRAM of games if I can avoid it. Have to check on the way out. Hey, you! This Chrono Trigger cartridge is mine! My dad gave it to me! It's the best RPG on the SNES! Please don't take it! He's right, I just can't take it from him. I also didn't test the midway yet, so I need to die. Love the video games in your own emote, or how you learned about what a twink is. <laughs> oh, a twink is fantastic. What glyphs does Mario look for, other than letters and numbers? This is true. Got the point. Um, he's got, like, Yoshi Paw. He has the word yellow, the beginning of the word illusion. Um, but there's stuff in there that you'd be surprised about. But for the most part, you'd only, or you've only got, like, uppercase, lowercase, a couple other things. I meant to duck. So, if you're ever curious, you can go look up what they are on, uh, in Lunar Magic. That's the easiest way to check. Punctuation. There's a few things. Oh, it's a new boss. Apparently, I'm... Too short to get hit by that? Hmm. I was recently playing a bunch of hack jam hacks, and one of them actually made fun of the fact that they were using the new boss. Okay, fine, Mario, take your dumb game back. I always like Final Fantasy VI more anyway. Seriously, do you type a fish? I got a cartridge. <laughs> uh, you'll use the fish emoji. Not even kidding. Hopefully that didn't break the game. <laughs> I have to come back and figure out how to get that moon. I might have to. Fiskbit complained that he wasn't able to take fish anymore using a specific glyph, and there was a long set of coincidences, and I just eventually said, forget it, I'll just make the fish glyph do the right thing. So, there you go. Um... <laughs> You could use a backslash in the bit message just like any character in layer 3 VRAM. Interesting idea. I may have to try that. Right, let's at least get in a level. See if that works. Because I think it used to. There you go. How do you mine for fish? It's it's multiple fish. Maybe there's a bug somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna leave that right there. I really need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. There we go. Life is better now. But now, it shows up as two fish. I don't know why it does that. It's been a long time since I've tested a lot of my stuff out thoroughly, and I've done some refactoring recently. None of those things will explain why there are multiple fish. Now. Just a possible theory for them. Um, anyway, what we are talking about before the raid was uh, on... Three bonus fish. Indeed, it's kind of nice actually. You get two whole glyphs. Two moons to find them? There's just one moon to find, I think. 
Um, I got lucky there. They're scrolling up here. I wonder if I'm missing something. They're in the level where I can scroll up higher. Up and stand on it. That might answer my question. Bad idea. But uh, talking about end knuckles, uh, we had done some end knuckles experiments on Saturday and determined that you can play 12 end knuckles before things go completely awry on a vanilla Genesis. And slightly more with a, or slightly less with a 32X, but things get a lot less weird. So 11 with a 32X, 12 with the Genesis. I'm gonna, like, sit down and write up a whole thing. Where the hell is that moon? I think emoji used two bytes that could be related to it. I think it's possible that's what the problem is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, long as the things you were doing looking into making emotes appear in in-game messages. Yeah. You know, try to avoid one projectile. Maybe it's in the auto scroll. Maybe I missed something important in the auto scroll. Uh, have you investigated all or something in the backlog? That is definitely in the backlog. I have gotten emotes to work in messages in Zelda uh, Link to the Past, but I'm going to be the first to... Uh, but admittedly, they are just not good. Three colors is not enough to make most emotes look good. I ended up, like, restricting it just to the cheer crystals, and even then it was kind of debatable. But I think that there's a better way to do it, and I might try that later. Try look at the door again. Maybe there's something I missed in the door land. Anything exciting with the happened with the second end knuckles? Um, no, things didn't get weird until you get up to a much higher number of end knuckles. Like we got up to ten in our first experiment, and the game was playable. Like there's literally nothing wrong with it, uh, aside from some light corruption on tails and sonic sprites. Uh, my theory was is that the after plugging in 10 on Knuckles cartridges, that the uh, DMA between uh, VRAM and Sonic 3 was taking just a little bit too long. I guess there isn't anything in here. It's a really short room. So. I'm thinking it's a memory latency issue at that point. Um, but again, things got a lot weirder. Like, I just need to sit down and write all of the, the stuff down, because an awful, we discovered an awful lot of things. <laughs> um, such as what happens when you plug 20 end knuckles and cartridges into a Genesis. And just try to play those. Which, admittedly, wasn't, like, the worst. Again, like, playable, just weird. Uh, once you get above the threshold, which is 12 total for the 32X and 13 total for the regular Genesis, it starts just doing bad things. It was like trapping us in... We, we were constantly stuck... Well, Knuckles, at least, was constantly stuck on a uh, like floating platform on an edge forever, which wasn't good for him. You no, know, if I were Bandicoot, worth a shot. I think I ran out of surface area to check here, unless like, I can go further down. Oh, that's a lot of them. Maybe it's past the door. Ah. I have to put a marker down and come back, because I'm tired of trying to find the one moon I can't seem to find. Come back. Put a marker down to find moons. Turning the emotes into grayscale and then make them align. I thought about that. Um, I didn't follow through with it. I might try that. What's up, Pawaluta? Yeah, that was actually the best thing. So, with 12 and Knuckles cartridges attached to a Sonic 3 with a 32X in, in play, um, the game would kind of load. And it would look like it would work until you got into uh, the actual gameplay. And so if you try to start a Sonic and Knuckle or Sonic and uh, Tails game, there's a little intro that plays where Sonic is, uh, you know, going forward. 
he's uh, supersonic, he's having a good day, Tails is flying with him, they're going across the island, and eventually run into Knuckles. Except if there's too many in Knuckles. What ends up happening was Sonic would, uh, it would, like, load the script for the bombing run later in the, in the level, and, uh, then drop Sonic through the It was truly something worth seeing. So, just general weird stuff. Hi, Yoshi. <laughs> Gotta use a rock to, uh, rolling rock to save rock and roll. I was gonna hide something. Guess I wouldn't hide it up there, huh? No, yes. Drinking rolling rock on a roll rock on a rolling rocker. Yeah. Uh, oh my. This is very different. Honestly, in most Bandicoot hacks I've played, uh, he uses the same sort of uh, toad house every single time. But this is very different. Star in my box because I want a star. Of course, Robo's theme because Robo's theme kicks ass. Um, yeah, I could I could go on about weird stuff that happened. I still have the 32x here because Squiggles didn't want to detangle it from the 12 high or 21 cartridge high tower of power we built on the way out. Like I literally just left it in my living room for a bit before I finally disassembled the whole thing. Unfortunately, in the process, I actually ended up losing one of the uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles has a little door on it to protect uh, from the game from dust, the upper cartridge slot from dust. And one of them had fallen off when I was done with it all, which is a little bit disappointing. But you know, I've got 20 of them. I have 19 of them now, so. There's something up here. There isn't bad nothing up here. There is confusion up there. That dude is confused. Boomerang came with it! It's a Rickroll. Yes, I have pictures. I have pictures of plenty. Squiggles um, brought over his much more professional gear than I have. So, he actually does occasionally do things that merit having a camera that does photography, whereas I have an iPhone SE, an OG iPhone SE. Um, and so we have some nice pictures of the Tower of Power, as well as the 12 cartridge monster. Hey, let's go up now. I can see that there is a spot for a vine. Aoshi there, thank you very much. Looks fine over here. Why is it throwing Chucks throwing his rocks aside? Because I got him confused when he respawned. Um, generally, they manage to know which direction they want to throw, but because I had spawn come in from the, uh, the right side, he was like, "Oh yeah, I want to throw these to the right." But again, like I don't hold non soft lock. Uh... Okay, good. I got all of those. Uh, non soft lock. Uh, like, weirdness relating to, like, going above levels. If I can softlock myself easily with that, I'll generally, like, make a complaint, but that's not death. I assume the brown water was death. Huh, my bad. So that should answer that question. Um, I'm trying to think of any other end knuckles facts that are worth mentioning, but basically I need to go spend some time and finish that up properly. There we go. But I assure you that uh, there'll be a, like, preliminary posting of my thing on uh, Discord. And if nothing else, I'll post a picture of the new and improved Tower of Power, even though we didn't end up putting a Game Boy in it. 
I'll give an estimate to its height too because I don't actually remember how tall it was. We didn't measure. Should have busted out the tape measure, but there's a convenient marker in the picture that will tell me exactly how tall it is. In case you want to see them, I guess if you, like, type exclamation point Twitter, I guarantee that the findings will be posted on Twitter. If you guys are interested in discords, type exclamation point discord, I guarantee you the results will be posted there too. Or just follow and catch me at some point and I'll make sure to post it in my own chat, because that's something I am definitely going to do. I was so close to the end last time. It's a pretty quiet place, but if you're interested in USB stuff, um, I'm generally pretty happy to answer questions there. Because I'm one of the few people who does a lot of USB things with SNES, though admittedly I, my libraries are so solid now, I don't really think too much about how to do things on there anymore. The last big push was to get Carl uh, to work with SA1, and now that it does, I don't really have to worry too much about it. Oh yeah, I have a YouTube too. I post things there. Pretty much every uh, thing I do, I get uh, every stream I do gets posted to YouTube at some point. The Baba is You things still need to uh, get posted. I had an idea I wanted to put level uh, identifiers as chapters in there, and then I got distracted by other projects. Because I was like, oh yeah, I could totally just use uh, OCR for that. And it's true, I could use OCR for it, but it was very unreliable, and so I needed to build some like debalancing logic, and it didn't work out first try. Mario RPG music, always a happy thing. Oh, you've been working on a USB integration project. Oh yeah, I'd love to hear about that. QSU, uh, QUSB makes some of the primitives a lot harder to access uh, compared to what I've done, because I'm just using the serial protocol. Uh, but I, I love hearing about other people's USB projects. There's a world of things to be explored, and very few people are exploring them. Ended up uh, compiling a modified ESNS for web. It'll be easier for people to use. That's probably the case. As in, you compiled it to uh, web ASM and are putting it on a web page like the archive or guys do. Admittedly, emulators are a lot easier to work with for some of these things, but I find the constraint is what make, brings me joy here. Go! Man, this tail sprite is just so good. Web ASM. Front works with QUSB. Also, at least in part, and consider doing your own custom thing. The USB is a shim that allows you to kind of treat certain emulators Dynacoot hack as if they're the same as the USB. So it implements a protocol you can use to speak between a website or other things and either an emulator or a USB to SNES. Um, the problem I found, of course, is that the USB to SNES stuff is really unreliable. Like, in terms of getting it to work, you need to be using a very specific version unless, like, he's finally gotten around to fixing it. Um, it tends to lose connectivity fairly often, which is something I've largely sussed out of my stuff. Like, it's very rare that even in the uh, most bizarre of chat hacks experiences that the USB connection itself dies anymore. Like, I've gotten it very reliable. 
Oh, there's another one. There's a good API that makes it really convenient to work with web and retroarch, yeah. It's nice that it lets you do both. I'm not going to argue that that's a, a nice feature. I just find that its reliability for USB to SNES is very suspect. Like, I've been meaning to build a uh, C-sharp version of my tool that I posted a while ago uh, for Arism, so that he can have an easier time doing Lunar Magic stuff. And I was going to do that this C3, but then I got busy with other projects. I have too many projects. Way too many projects. What is this track? Sounds like Michael Jackson's song for some reason. Well, if I die before the time limit, it's not the end of the world because it's a Bandicoot hack, and I'm not going to run out of coins. Or those coins will stay. I need to dive for the midway, because this is a moderation thing. I want to make sure certain things work consistently, and midways are one of them. Come on, Dales. There we go. Perfect. One of the exact issues, Arisen showed off a tool on stream. Yep, that was the one I linked uh, to a while ago up on uh, up in my YouTube. That's just the place to find it in case people want it. Um, I think I called it Lunar Ma a Lunar Bridge because it bridges Lunar Magic and the USB stuff. But really, all I did was implement uh, the CP command. Copy. Oh. There's spaces and names. Oh, that's an underscore. Ah, oh, right. There's no underscores. Kepka. Uh, Castle. Castle Stone. Apologize if I got that wrong. Just raided. Oh, nice. Kepka raid. I do like some Kepka. In fact, the game was even mentioning that. Lenny thought that uh, Final Fantasy VI was better than Chrono Trigger, which is certainly a debate worth having. <laughs> How you doing? How was your stream? What were you up to? Hope it went well. I got it right. Oh, excellent. Uh, this is one of those things about Bandicoot hacks you have to keep in mind is when you fall in a pit, you're not dead. <laughs> it takes a while to get used to that idea. Also, isn't this a cutest sprite? Look at that. Mistakes were made. Oh, whatever. Double over. Mystic Quest is better. Thank you for trolling. Much you love Final Fantasy VI, you gotta put your hat to put on trigger. It is very different. I don't think it's a bad thing, it's just different. Um, though admittedly, for moderation purposes, I often want to die when I fall into a pit. So. And there are times when you can, like, exploit it, or, like, so for the last hack I moderated, the uh, the Crown Tail, I thought the right way to get at a very specific, uh, uh, was it a moon? I forget exactly which collectible it was. It was to take advantage of my invulnerability while jumping into a pit, fully equipped, and then go under the level, it was the wrong thing to do. There was a big wall. Spoilers. Not that anyone is going to know exactly what I'm talking about, but it was just very unclear. Had a good night? Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. back this level anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about finding everything the first try. How would I even get that Yoshi? Oh right, there's bombs. I'm going to just put the Yoshi here. The screen transition is different in this hack. There's sort of a... Mosaic isn't the right word at all. Uh, like paper strips effect that some people really like to use in their hacks as, like, the pipe-slash-door transition. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's perfectly fine for what it is. I wonder why he keeps giving me yellow Yoshis. Yeah, I get, there's multiple ways to get bombs here. I don't need you. Prop 
problem, problem solved. But it's one of the many patches available on SMW Central. Like, if you've never seen, like, a bunch of SMW hacking stuff, the game allows you to do almost anything you want at this point, and people have made an awful lot of interesting patches to allow you to customize the game in however image you want it to be made in. So. See you later, Kepka. Have a good night. Spitting plant. That's another common one, honestly. I've seen this in so many hacks at this point. That was, like, the wrong way to play that. Gotta kick it first. <laughs> Don't blow up the world, I'll try. You can even make the game turn into Super Mario Bros. This is true. We actually had that happen last uh, stream. I finished up my agenda, had nothing else to do, so we had a short, impromptu chat hack session. Which is not something that happens every day. That's where I give the stream complete access to my Super Nintendo's memory and uh, give them access to running code on my Super Nintendo. Sometimes it's something beautiful, other times it's a seizure inducing mess. It's often a good time. Very satisfying to kill all those critters. I don't think the end two games are so different. It's really hard to compare Chrono Trigger with a happy ending. Even the worst endings, as long as the player wins and there's a happy conclusion. Final Fantasy VI, even the best case scenario, Kepka had his happy ending, even if the player wins. You're not wrong. That's a very valid point. Very valid point, Desi. Even when the player wins, the world still kind of loses. There's certainly a lot of, like, quality of life improvement things, where Chrono Trigger makes it a lot more obvious. There's only four elements as opposed to eight. Status effects are pretty limited in Chrono Trigger, too. It's a much less complicated game in a lot of good ways. It's another game I want to play with at some point after I build a module for it. I'm digging these clouds. Tails is one of the few sprites where being a balloon doesn't make him look completely ugly. Like, most balloon sprites are kind of terrifying, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna come back for that. Well, good, they're, uh, well, they're in the pipe. Didn't realize that. Big balloon physics. I don't, I don't trust the amount of time I have. It's very different for most, like... RPGs in that regard. There's an awful lot of them keep the sort of storybook style of telling. The hero always wins. In this case, the, the uh, Kepka, Kepka definitely wins. Those fences are so weird. Let's get this. Kill that dude. And jump into a hole to test the midway. Definitely true as far as gameplay is concerned. Some people enjoy a more interesting challenge and harder grind. It's true. Final Fantasy VI does have an awful lot, like, more stuff. For instance, you can, you know, spend hours trying to revive General Leo with all sorts of ways that don't work. I was just remembering the, uh, that those sorts of weird internet rumors back in the day. You know, if you kill 256 Brontosauruses and uh, have the cursed ring equipped and, uh, like, I don't have Locke in your party, then General Leo will show up on the 256th, 7th, uh, Brontosaurus. The Brontosaurus thing is actually not that far from the truth. There are Brontosauruses in the game. You only fight them in, like, one very specific spot in the entire world. The second world, even. No. Rare monster plus, uh, rare sword encounter. It's, it's pretty common. Internet rumor mill sort of thing. Crap. Um. I think I'm not supposed to touch the top of the screen. Yeah, no dice.
Let's just make it more interesting. It's true. Final Fantasy VI is a way more broken game. Tails tubular. Biff, this is my tacular. Thanks for made, but survivable. Not as cute, honestly. Okay, let's not touch the top of the screen this time. It's a really good incentive for not trying to find secrets off the top of the screen by making it so you can't really go off the top of the screen. I'm just gonna wait. Feels the patient. Guy. Now, here's my theory. Can I pull this off? Curse Shield does do something with 256. Yes, the Curse Shield does. The, the Cursed Ring does not. The Cursed Ring just... Oh, you get a move for free. Alright, let's go. Can we do this? No! No yump. Yump indeed. Um... Besides being rare, deadly monsters found on Dinosaur Island, Brontosaurus is nothing special. I think Brontosaurus drop, or is it Tyrannosaurus, drop the Economizer, which is like the best relic in the game, if you're uh, a magic user. But, depends on, yeah, Paladin Shield. It is in fact crazy good, but you have to do that with 250, or 255 battles. Um, that's, which is a lot of battles. It doesn't sound like it, but it's, you know, it's a hundred battles, head and hex. So... I get the feeling this level is going to be a lot easier now. Uh, hot potato. You managed to jump on a switch and then jump into the goal tape? That? I don't know. I don't think you get the distance you'd need for that, though. First range in, in Final Fantasy V Elemental in... Oh, it does! I thought a uh, first ring in Final Fantasy V just was... Uh, had heavy uh, defensive value. Didn't know it actually did some elemental wise. That's something that later games did a lot better, was telling you what the hell items did. Like, I love Final Fantasy V, but man, is it obscure sometimes as to what does what. It's not even the fault of, like, the, you know, translators who were just trying their best. It just didn't have the space for that kind of thing in the original game, and so they didn't end up adding it. I'm gonna do something real stupid here. Because I want to test out an idea really quick. Because I was curious if there was something interesting over here, and I need to die of the midway anyway. How were the plants spitting bombs? Uh, custom ASM. So, one of those things you could do... That you can find it all about on Super Mario World Central. Oh, there's nothing up here. Alright, well, I need to die. Zach. There we go. Convenient moderation tools. Um, same in six. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Has really weak stats, but the elemental thing makes it worth it in some cases. I did not know that. I'll have to keep that in mind next time I go around uh, Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy V. Um, the reason they can throw bombs is because it's a custom sprite. SMW Central has a lot of custom sprites that are pretty much available to pick up and just use however you want. Um, you do need to use a tool to insert them called Pixie never used it, so I don't know exactly how it works, but I assume it works pretty similar to Uber ASM and, uh, and the like, where you choose which ones you want and tell them which sprite slots to put them in using a list file, and then you can use them in Lunar Magic. Did I lock myself out of, uh... I think I might have. Huh. Oh, never mind, there's a bomb. Right, I'm gonna throw it. We've learned something today, though I'm not terribly happy to have learned it.
Keep the midway, yep. I wanted to test the midway, whether or not it was working. I, I also thought there might be something up there, uh, past in the, uh, in the key room. There was not, um, but I was curious, and so I decided to check it anyway. I swear these timers are unreliable at the best of times. Please go through both. I don't want to have to deal with more of these. I think he's using a spawner, which is why things are weird. Thank you for playing that noise that I wasn't expecting to hear. Multi block, I'm gonna leave that be. They just randomly fall from the sky. something hidden over there. I got lucky. There's the other dragon coin. I'm gonna guess up here is where the moon is. Five or four, probably the same across a bunch. It would not surprise me if they kept a consistent thing like that. It's like, putting your weaknesses into advantages as far as like a single accessory slot goes is pretty dang powerful. And the downside of uh, having countdown on you isn't that terrible for the average fight. Like, I wouldn't like do it in a real boss fight in like X Death Second World, but it's a thing you could do. with a chance of bob hops. So weirdly enough, that was a book that I had as a kid, or at least my family had as a kid, and would read that one fairly frequently. And I looked up the plot for the movie. The movie is a lot different than the book. Way different. Though there are some, like, similar bits. Namely, food falling from the heavens. I guess that uh, blocks don't count as shells for the purposes of that. Oh, DKC music. Always a fun addition. And that's why I've been using the fire flower. How the heck are you supposed to get up there? I just realized I have 420 followers. I think I might have to ask people not to follow in the future. I'm super paying attention to what you're doing, world. Another nice addition I really appreciate and the like is um, I think it's so that when you kill things they don't turn into coins because it actually reduces a lag a lot if you don't uh, do that. There we go. Got rid of that critter. Okay, here we go. Guess the blocks do sometimes count though it's not consistent. Interesting. Yeah, Red Tails, you have to show the Fire Flower somehow, and most, and basically your option is, uh, well, the way it works is you get a different palette when you're in the super form, or in the, uh, Fire Flower form. And so, an awful lot of them look quite silly. So I've got, like, Red Sonic as well, Marissa turns red, things like that. Like, how many, how many, how many three lives? I also appreciate that, like, I don't need them because I can just set lives arbitrarily, but as someone playing a hack, it's always annoying to have to go, like, farm lives. 
its background. I like that. Ah, it's this water. No odd water, but you know, it works. I know what to do here. Okay. Perfect. Oh, there's nothing up here. Ah, oh, dang it. I have, oh, I have access to technical fire. That's kind of cool. It was never mentioned anywhere in the hack so far that I can use up fire. Eh. There's no Eldad cloud. enemies turning the coins thing. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I also see things, or did the throw block collect the coin just now? Yes. Early on, they suggested that throw, uh, one of the toads told me I could throw shells at, uh, at things that collect uh, dragon coins and coins. Wish I could fly in a Lakitu cloud. Must be so fun. Maybe we'll try and steal one and steal it Grand Theft Auto style. I like the way you think, little toad. Let's see... Yep. Oh god. Well, I can channel my inner TJB and actually cape good. This works. Yep. Something in future uh, definitely exists in future ones. Um, the problem I have with it in ROM hacks and the like, is often people just seem to forget that they added that patch. I feel like, because I play a lot of, you know, less, uh, how to put this, less polished ROM hacks because of uh, how this all works, moderation process. Um, often get to see things that aren't uh, as fleshed out as you would hope. There we go. And so people often forget that they just did that. They don't uh, do anything interesting with wall jumping or um, or block throwing into coins. Like maybe they use it once or twice in the hack, but they just don't. They don't make it a primary mechanic. Other Mario later Mario games definitely did make it a primary mechanic. a cute secret. I don't need it, so... Oh, wait. Did, oh, I do need it. I forgot I was going to get the coin. It was in the outpipe. Right, I think the correct way to do this is to kill the Lakitu and steal his cloud. Which I can do with this brick. Jump. There you go. There are first strings in every Final Fantasy game. You were mixing them up. Looked it up and you were right. The one in six is super niche. I'm gonna read the rest of that, because I'm curious. At some point, I'm gonna play Final Fantasy VI again. Please don't drop me in. Yeah, good hack, right. right. Yes, I did time that. <laughs> Uh, cursed, well, a uh, cursed ring works well in conjunction with the Lich Ring, which makes the player undead, which means the cursed ring auto revive. S said cursed player ring expires. Oh, that is kind of cool, actually. I didn't consider that as an option, but it makes a lot of sense. Let's hear one more level. That would be the first we've been from the start. This is true. Uh, so, another fun secret. That dude is stuck. Um. Uh, for a little time. Oh, I, I always enjoy this when it comes up. Well. That pipe has something in it. There's no way that pipe does. Like the not- oh, I get it. Not insta-kill pits. 
These are very not insta-kill now. Well, except for the part where I left a shell in there. Oh, there he goes. I was kind of wondering how far Yoshi could get. Now we have an answer. All the way. And more Chrono Trigger music, of course. way the, the intended solution was to jump off the, uh, the spine or the, the beetle. Tape, of course, makes many things very easy. I wonder what the actual patch for this is. You can do this in vanilla SMW by applying green beans to the top of the screen. Hit you not. Oh, yeah, that, this is the intended solution. Oh, that's cute. And then you would have, like, wall jumped. Or, maybe... Hmm. Maybe I don't have an intended solution there. This level is weird. Alright, I got a cape that makes it really hard to do. In fact, I don't think that block is duplicable now. Look at it. Standard on off block. Multiple solutions throw the beetle, use the cape, jump off Yoshi. Yeah, that's true. You can jump off Yoshi and then recover your Yoshi. Having forgotten about my Yoshi. I don't want to do that. This part could be really interesting and challenging, or very s silly. I'm gonna go with kind of silly. Yeah, I don't want that. Well played. Well played game. Okay, so I need a Yoshi if I wanted to do that part. So, I guess we'll have to come back with the Yoshi. You know, that's kind of terrifying, actually. I need to stop throwing those. I'm making it harder for myself. It's much harder to reason about a uh, given shell when it's going to uh, wrap around the screen repeatedly. One more trick. Nope. Wouldn't have got me anything cool anyway. Oh, I need to test the midway anyway. And in fact, if I'm going to do that, I may as well go get a Yoshi really quick because I need a Yoshi. Making it harder on yourself. Indeed. Indeed, Desi. Indeed. Like that. Feed the Yoshi this, and then we'll have a Yoshi. Aw, oh, man. Have I ever mentioned how much I love the fast travel in this game? When people actually apply that patch. Strangely enough, I'd say it's probably the most enduring, like, um, legacy of Brutal Mario is that patch that Carol released. I left the level to get you. You better come back. Yeah, I'll get, get this key first. Uh, the fast travel patch is by Carol, who made Brutal Mario, a.k.a. that one hack that has, like, a million boss fights that are all really weird. Last time I saw someone play it, it was actually looking pretty cool, so... One of those ones that I keep in mind. If anyone ever gets bored. Though it does suffer from level design aesthetics that were much more popular circa 2008.
here we go. Cute. I didn't, I didn't try that pipe last time around. Oh, that's my bad. This is cute. Unnecessary, but cute. I like the layer 2 coins. It just cuts down on so much like dead time, especially when you have a hack with a very large world map. And some of the more modern ones have really large world maps. This has like what, 80 exits or something. Like it's gonna take a while to traverse, especially if it's not you know all just the same uh, like one or two exits every. You know, sometimes you just gotta ditch Yoshi. 69 lives. I can always fix that. I can always fix that. This is going to say, Hey Mario, are you trying to get moons? Yoshi will be essential on this quest. Don't go throwing him down any pits! Thanks, Toad. I appreciate very much this hint. It's the best hint you ever gave Mario. <laughs> wow, that was needless cruelty. Just for you, Desi. Just for you. We'll set life to 69. We'll show up next level. How you doing, Blackbird? See? 69 lives again. The power. I may not have the uh, the jumping skills, but I have the power. I don't think Mini Tails likes this level much. Or this part of the level much. There we go. It doesn't wrap around immediately. Oh, wait. I want that a little bit later. Alright, my plan has backfired slightly, but it's, it's still good. It's still good. Oh, that's a pit. Close to a bit. It's approximating. And I'm still looking around for, for hidden secrets. That'd be the perfect spot to hide one. Or maybe over this bridge. I guess that was kind of obvious in retrospect. Yes, I too like this patch that keeps the dragon coins. You would not believe how much time that would save. It, it ends up saving me. One of those things I try to do for moderation, which I don't always succeed in because it can be kind of difficult depending on the hack, um, is to collect all the dragon points in one go in a given level. Um, there are a few hacks where I've said, no, I'm not doing that. But most of them I want to do that. And uh, where they save it, it doesn't matter so much, so I don't have to do that. This deep brag most recently, I kind of was like, no, no, I'm just not going to do that. It was a bridge too far. Not paying enough attention to what I'm doing. Never notice the movement being a bothersome thing to also never play a hack with the fast overworld. I would need to walk all the way around a super long hack. That's probably more about it. Even a Bandicoot one, you usually do all the exits and secrets methodically as possible. Sometimes it's back and forth, but it didn't bother you. I can see that. Oh, there's some lag here. Put a marker for lag. Might be my fault by letting so many of these spawn. I'll probably check that one out later. Um, I think it's a bigger problem with like jump uh, or jump half style hacks. I still haven't gotten either of these. Yes, with Bandicoot, there's probably like some number of secret. Yeah, it's this. Okay, I'll come back and do those later. It's already like punted on the first one. Um, but, like, perhaps where backtracking can be really important for unlocking stuff, because there's more, like, Zelda or adventure guy, like, adventure game-style secrets. Wait a second. None of those were... Star. That's another thing about Bandicoot hacks. You never quite know what's going to happen with various blocks. He has, like, this idea about adaptable uh, difficulty systems. 
where depending upon how many lives you have, certain things will change. Which probably makes moderation harder, but I've never noticed it. But also, I tend to run with a lot more lives than I need, for obvious reasons. Football! But for like Kaizo hacks, like fast movement makes no big difference. You're gonna spend so much time in an individual level. Really, who cares? Semi solids. I'll be taking that. I'll be losing that. I'm mad indeed. Whoever gets the most points usually wins the game. Words to live by. Why? There's some, like, sprite mess that seems to be happening periodically with these fire bars. I'm gonna put a marker down to investigate that in a bit. Let me solid titles that are solid and vanilla. Yep! But I think in Mario Maker, those aren't solid. Those are semi-solid Mario Maker, so the question really is, what assumptions do you have? And those blocks aren't used very often in vanilla. It's such a way you can get below them, if I recall correctly. Solids? Yep. You might have the vernacular wrong there. I also think he might have nerfed Chucks in general in his hacks. They really die in two hits regardless of whether or not they got uh, thrown a fireball at him or not. Planning. Still an observation. Feeling I'm moderately close to the end of the level. That open. Got a feeling about this. Feeling I wish I had a Yoshi. I'd come here later when I've not been able to access it. OP balloon. Is, is there anything here? I was rather expecting something. There's literally nothing here? Well, nothing important to collect here. What an odd area. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. No idea those were even in Maker. I mean, yeah, if you depending on how much Maker you watch or play, I could definitely see missing those. Because I don't think they're like a really common one that people care a whole lot about in Maker. I don't know what that area was about. Some people play a hack, turn off, reset, need lives. That's true. At some point that will happen with this hack, so I'm not going to beat it all tonight, I don't think. But a room full of, like, individual coins is a strange thing to have some kind of gated off, especially with there being, like, a switch palace instead of blocks in front of it. So I, I'm kind of curious what the idea there was. I still hate malls. I hate them so much. One of the hack jam levels I played, or one of the hack jam uh, hacks I played, had a level that was entirely about mole stacks. It was truly unpleasant. I just do not like mole stacks. It didn't help that Faro changed me to feet pretty early on. Faro? I meant someone else. But I changed the feet, like, immediately upon entering that level.
valuable coins and a one up. Had people in that's true. People in was nice. Hmm. I think I think I should have waited. I die in the last level. I don't know if I tested the midway in the last level. I'm gonna mark her down. Check to see if I tested the midway in the last level. That's true. I, I mean, I guess my expectations are a little bit stranger. Just in general, Bandicoot tends to hide interesting things in bonus rooms. Given that there's so many things to collect, it's weird to have a room that's just coins and doesn't have, say, a dragon coin or anything else in it. It just seems a little bit out of uh, character with his usual design MO. Given his MO seems to be as much as possible when it comes to secrets. Slight slowdown. And we remember, you don't actually get to duck to do something useful in this game. Right, wall jumps. I forgot they were there, briefly. Definitely my fault. Remember, for this one, at least. Probably shouldn't stand on its face. Nope. It weighed. Let's go back or go forward. You may not like it, but if you want to reach Roy's room, you have to backtrack. With this P-Switch, use it wisely. Oop. Did you know that you just hit this message box? I won't let you steal my Zelda cartridge. Now get out of my castle. I'm glad I didn't try to go back without that. <laughs> you find out the super secret exit was tied to the p room. <laughs> and Pat will have the last laugh. Excellent. Discovered is I'm really bad at finding the moons in uh, castle levels. <laughs> Go. You know, maybe it's in this pipe here. Okay, that pipe is definitely not uh, for my use. Ooh, this is cute. Um, that was weird. You didn't need to be brutal, so brutal, Mario. Oh, there we go, name drop there. It was just a break, bro. Fine, take your game back. I didn't want it anyway, bro. There we go, we got it. Look how Mario just casually moonwalks into pipes while holding an item. It is fantastic. Okay, here you go. Pulls castle from pocket. Uh, Morton discovered a cheese strat. Stand on top of the switch and Mario can't hit him. Or at least finds it a lot harder to do. It's true. So I'm gonna have to find that moon again some other time. I don't want to spend too much time digging around there. Let's go to the big bridge. Where I fully anticipated that this would be the music. What a track. Bandicoot hack. Let's see. 
Well, that plan was kind of good till it didn't work. Next we'll take the low path. Final Fantasy V. Nope, Final Fantasy VI. One step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. I really appreciate this one pile that's been filled in. I probably would have fallen into it. Yeah, Final Fantasy V. It's probably the most famous piece of music from Final Fantasy V. It there's other music in Final Fantasy games, but I actually want to say this is probably one of the most famous tunes. And then again. He knew to jump somehow. He just knew it. Yeah, I got two capes. May as well die now. Bullet Bro. Yeah, um, on SMW Central there's, like, adaptable Hammer Bros, so you can do whatever you want. You can have them throw whatever they want. The most interesting application of which I've seen is in Yump 2, where they're used to throw, um, well, anything they want, really. But more importantly, uh, Hammer Brothers that throw Hammer Brothers that throw Hammer Brothers that throw Hammer Brothers. It's very surreal. There's also ones that threw Boom Boom, which was weird. Yeah, and Yump, Yump 2 is a weird hat. Going back for my Yoshi. Mom's gonna give me a Yoshi, I'm gonna I'll bring it to fruition. Throw Hammer Bros, throw Hammer Bros, yep. 100% serious. That is a thing that happens in one of the levels. It's called, like, um, groceries. Like groceries or something. It's on the left side of the map. I'm betting there's a switch somewhere that we need to get access to. i surprised that worked. It's not an easy one. Um, it's a mess, but it doesn't happen for all of the stage, so you kind of can get used to it for the brief period of time when it matters. It's like very much near the end of the stage. Oh, he got me. He got me good. I was gonna fly under, but no, you can just walk under. Gotta love that bit where you have the, uh, the game just pause. Bot loads in the next uh, level segment. Next uh, music uh, bit. I think I know where the moon is. I think I do. Probably should have hit that. Mistakes are made. Mistakes are made twice. Either way, this is the end of the level. Pretty much. Getting up carelessly. Called it. creative spot to hide it. like that one. Chuck Paradise. 
I don't think there is such a thing, I'll be honest. It's a wintry level. If only there was some sort of contest full of wintry levels that people could, you know, participate in. Enjoy extra wintry levels. Like the WLDC level. Like LDC. The Winter Level Design Contest that's currently going on on SMW Central. I'm gonna show for something, may as well do that. It has several people judging it, like Amethyst, Idol, and Jupy Hornet. You have a chance to win real prizes. As opposed to Steam games that nobody wants. Oh, completely shameless, 100%. I'm not actually involved with anything to do with it. Aside from, like, if people ask me if I'll test their levels, I will totally test their levels. That's about it. Oh, I always love Pokies with hats. And Red Yoshis. Oh my. Um... It was more important to have a Yoshi than to, uh. Oh! Be embiggened. Alright, so I need to have a fire flower. Oh, and also, that would have been an easier way to do it. Hey. I was really hoping there would be a fire flower in there. Give me a hint that I'm supposed to fly. I want to keep both. Uh, but a Hattable Pokey is probably the same as a regular Pokey, in that I can spin jump on it, but not do anything else. I'll be completely honest, I don't think I'm going to tempt fate when I think it's just a reskinned Pokey. Um... I want to keep my Yoshi, please. Some days, man, some days. You just can't hold on to a Yoshi. Oop. Surprisingly long section for what it is. Charlie. Well, that works. We'll call that good. And we'll want to ponder why this is up here. have the equipment for it. We're going to go to that room and I guess we can find out whether or not we should uh, jump on a boat. Are you? Didn't see it. That's on me. All right. Can we spin jump on this pokey? Yep. He seems like a conventional pokey. Just Christmas. I'm going to hold on to the, the cape for this section here. Things might not have gone my way. Ooh. Involved life. lots of pieces. Which I need to hurry up on. Think it's just the two thrower. that.
mean, guavas are clearly pogs, so probably buy a guava. I'll see myself out. No, you cannot jump on the boats. You have definitively established that you cannot jump on the boats. Tried the. Which I guess we didn't try that. We basically beat the uh, the secret exit. I'm not dead. Now I'm dead. It's somewhat surprising someone's ever edition of a certain rap song. <laughs> oh, that would be uh, that would be some doing. It's not easy to uh, port music and make it recognizable every time. There's an awful lot of like good tracks on SMW Central. Not sure how many good rap tracks there are. I want to say it's like a Jay-Z track. Or maybe a Kanye track. Um, um, I know for a fact that Afro Man's Because I Got High has a port on SMW Central because somebody wanted it. Which is more of a novelty song than a rap song, but it's still a rap song, I suppose, so... So admittedly, the song is mostly about how, like, you know, constantly smoking weed has ruined his life. So I'm still not quite certain how it became such an anthem for that sort of thing. You meant Gangs' Paradise, yes. Oh, the snow pokies, yeah, because the snow pokies are, like, made of snow, and, uh, are made of snowballs. I'm just talking about rap songs that are honest and central in general. Certainly you didn't mean Amish Paradise, put it that way. Living all our lives, living in an Amish. I need a chuck. Charles, come with me. Do you want to live with me in my apartment? I need a roommate. Come on. No, no don't. I hate playing this game with, with chucks. Always make it tedious. Oh. I'm betting it's up there. Yep, it's up there. I think I'm still red tails. Which paradise is better? Depends on how you're feeling. I personally grew up on uh, Amish Paradise as opposed to Gangster's Paradise. Oh, this is cute. Not like difficult, but cute. And level over. or twice living in an Amish paradise. Mountain Mayhem? I guess it's Reimu time. We're so cold. Don't forget my Mario. Fire flower is an essential item to deal with ice blocks. We got a lot less cold really fast. Thank you for the G's. The time is short on this level. You must be quick to reach the goal. Also, try to stay with the fire flower at all times, okay? I'd be one with the fire flower. Right. Oh, I want the other block. Nice level. Holding up while throwing a fireball will allow you to melt some hard-to-hit ice blocks. Good luck and hurry. Yep, technical fire. Suddenly realized I didn't want technical fire at that moment. Instead of red tails, we have orange Reimu. Perfect. Uh, it works. If you probably wore orange in some... Uh, some uh, Toho game, because there's like a million Toho games. 
I hate ice balls. You never know what they're gonna do. There's something about that one, I bet. Almost are short on time. I think this level has a midway. And lo and behold. That's what I get for trying. It's not a good place to try that. The question really is, will he eat through the platform before I get down it? It's a track I should know. This has to be where the moon is. Like this, this has to be it. There's no other possibility. Soft-lock yourself at any point here. Okay, gotta be careful. Line this up right. That was not lined up right. Well, I did find the moon. The lava here is made of lava. Um, you can point fireballs up, yeah. So when I, I've been mentioning technical fire, there's a uh, Mario One hack called Mario Brothers Extra. Not to be confused with Extra Mario Bros, which is a completely different thing. Um, and one of the... so It's a Metroidvania-styled hack. Mario 1, so it's weird. And you always are moving forward. It's, it's an interesting hack. One of those I might go back and revisit now that I have a AV Famicom that works and doesn't explode. Um, you get the access to a ability to fire upward a little bit. And it's called Technical Fire in the game. So that's what I always call it. Okay. Oh, I have wall jumping. It doesn't matter so much as long as I get myself, like, a surface. Yeah, that works. Extra Mario Bros. Extra. Extra, extra Mario Bros. Read all about it. Alright, so I gotta still go back and try to figure out how to get that dragon coin without getting stuck. Okay, one tile jumps. You know what's not terrible in this kind of game? One tile jumps. You know what's terrible in SMB1? One tile jumps. That was the worst part of, uh, of Mario for lost players was the one tile jumps. Um, okay. No, I see what you're trying to do now. Very clever, Bandicoot. Not falling for it more than once. I can fall for it now. There we go. Problem solved. Maybe Famicom is curious about those. A lot of people have an easy community. Does someone sell them or do people mod them themselves? Um, I got mine from Fiskfit uh, because he bought a whole bunch of them trying to find various things and succeeded sometimes. Uh, it's not modded except to have some of the capacitors replaced because um, the, the capacitors blew up. I was having problems with it, like making a high-pitched whine, because I was trying to do a stream with my little bro when he was here this summer, uh, a sequel of sorts to the TM Network Live at Power Bowl stream. I got this Japanese adventure game from, uh, what's his name? 
by drawing a blank on this dude's name. Changed it a couple times, too, so I don't remember his current one. Uh, BMF. Numbers. Bought it off him for a can of Mountain Dew. Red, because that's the best kind of Mountain Dew. Um, but it's entirely in Japanese. My little bro's been learning Japanese for a while, so the basic premise was... You know, we tried to translate it when we tried to solve this adventure game uh, together, and it was kind of cute. Um, I did end up listening to some of TM Live, uh, TM Network's music. It's actually not bad. One of their tracks was really a banger, but I'm drawing a blank on which one it is. But anyway, the problem was it was emitting a high pitch whine, and I asked Fispit what to do about it, and he said, oh, you need to replace the caps. So, replace, uh, so I put a cap replacement kit, and eventually Squiggles replaced the caps because I forgot. I had gotten busy with other projects, and it happened to still be lying around in my apartment. Um, but then the first time I used it after the cats were replaced, uh, like 20 minutes into playing with it, it just made a pop noise and stopped working. And one of the major caps seems to have blown. And so Squiggles got me another one because he thinks it was a bad job on his part. But I don't think it was. I think it might have just been a bad cap. Either way, I gave it uh, a long, but certainly long test by running Pictionary on it overnight, and it worked just fine. So there you go. Apparently select what we already had active. Um, oh, uh, it might have actually. Crap, I didn't see that. Uh, did Speedy Cat respond? Loaded Raymu. Yeah, I did. All right, we'll, we'll roll another random. Let's fix these things. Let's see what we get. We got. Oh God, I don't remember what this is. That's terrifying. Ah, uh, not moved. Ah, uh, Paper John. Everyone loves Paper John. I have a lot of random ones that aren't on the list. This is probably the weirdest one. That nobody really liked. But for some reason, I still have it. Those aren't climbable, are they? Stretch there and read. Luigi? There you go. Luigi is far better. Jumping is far better. Take a sec. Track in uh, Sonic 2. Replacing the caps. There's snow falling indoors. You are correct. Oh, I got all the drag points. I was briefly terrified. happen sometimes, you know, like old, uh, old buildings have snow falling in them. There we go. Oh, admittedly, that's an edge case I have not run into in all of this time, is, uh, random picking the current character we currently have loaded, so I guess I'll need to work on that one. Hey, Birdo. Another custom sprite thing. Birdo takes a lot of hits. since the upgrade, even if it's not modded. I mean, it's kind of nice, because at least it has stereo plugs, so you don't have to remember uh, to turn your stream from stereo to mono, which is the real reason I really wanted one. Because it uses the Super Nintendo, the same, like, output as the Super Nintendo uh, and N64. It doesn't make the games in stereo, it just now has stereo output. So. I do Paper John is, uh, could be described as Mario's dad. He's a, he's a weird fellow. Weird, weird fellow. Uh, huh. We Mega Man now. <laughs> what was... And the, the dudes with... The little, uh, dudes going through this wall. Look at this. <laughs> Don't know why he did that. It's hilarious. His feet were at the end of Yoshi's Island. That's, that flurry just went through the Mega Man door. Uh, I'm gonna put a marker down to note that. I don't think it matters too much aesthetically, aside from aesthetics, but it is kind of fun. Um, 
appreciate it. Moving on. So what's the origin of Paper John? Uh, there's a hack called Paper John World. It's on romhacking.net. Uh, you can you can totally download it if you want. Uh, I think Matt Matei played through it, and Fistbit was like, "This is hilarious. You need this sprite." And I'm like, "No, it's really ugly." He's like, "Yeah, why not?" Like, fine. That's the origin of Paper John on the stream, at least. I have no idea what the story of Paper John World is beyond that it got rejected from SMW Central for not being very good. Um, an awful lot of hacks that are uh, not like actively bad, but just have problems, end up uh, getting rejected. Usually things like it's broken, it crashes, it soft locks you, things like that. I'm not exactly sure what the rejection log for Paper John World shows, but it's probably something in that domain. Well. What's in the box? Ghost spawners. All right, cool. That's that's where I was. I don't need to explore backwards anymore. Um, the pipe with the product line has no snow, but the pipe is covered in frozen blocks. You can play it. Is it worth playing? I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna say it's not worth playing. But given it was rejected from SFW Central, it's probably broken in some key way. I would be careful with it. Um, is it good? No idea. Absolutely not. I think I had, like, the intro on the screen for all of a few minutes while I did the, the sprite stuff, so I couldn't tell you. That was a dick move by this, uh, by the ghosts. You can use the slopes to kill pokies and spiky enemies that normally would hurt you. Hold down on them to slide. Yep. That's a good way to lose. This area is going to be weird. One of those, like, it's going to be a bigger challenge going down than up. Which is cute, but... Speaking of cute butts. Actually, I need to die. Because this this is the midway, and if I get past this point, it's not gonna help me much. To this dude. Tick move. Couldn't believe it. Exploring backwards is often really hard in SMW. Uh, there's been a few times where I've like insisted that I'm going to go words to get like a dragon coin or something and it's been a tremendous waste of everybody's time uh, you gotta do like a bunch of shell jumps and stuff to get there like it's really silly I don't remember what hack that was I think it was the one by uh, Mr. MS like the Mario and the Sacred Gem or something I'd be sliding was not in fact sliding. I wonder if this is like a custom spawner. It's like it's a way to implement it. Why in the world would there be a brick there? It's like that. It's just hard enough. Yep, yep, yep. Speaking of which, we have to go back here to get into this pipe. This guy. You know Yoshi is good too? Yoshi is fine too. Hmm, I could get up there. Okay, well, nothing up here. Why does he keep giving me such tempting areas to wander into? What? I go uh, saw my Yoshi, which is like, no, I'm terrified of that. I'm not touching that. This we've learned here is that ghost uh, dinosaurs beat ghosts. 
expected outcome, I'm gonna be honest. Did Gussie just noped out? Like, he was just like, no, I'm terrified. I'm, I'm not doing this. Way above my pay grade. Secret exit. I wasn't expecting a secret exit in this area. I was really expecting, uh... Just expecting to find a dragon coin or something. It was hit by a bounce block? Very possibly. What's up, Blue Ribbon? How you doing? Oh, crap. Come back! There we go. I am not good at holding on to dinosaurs. Such a satisfying little noise. We gotta figure out what's behind the Mega Man door. Goodbye, Yoshi. Any interested in where the star takes me? Yeah, I probably should do the star levels before I forget. So, they're typically in... Actually, you've played Bandicoot, Axe, you know this, but like, an awful lot of his hacks, there's like a little uh, star area where you need to beat all of the, like, N extra challenge levels to access the, the true ending or something like that. I suspect that's what this is, too. But I haven't done the first three worlds once. I might just go back and do them now. Take advantage of that fast world travel. Get in the door. Why did they not make doors big enough for dinosaurs? Yoshi was a late addition to this game. They just didn't expect anyone to actually want to take him through a, a door. No. Nuts. Doing good. It was fun. Made some progress with the stream and feel like you don't need to design. Not feel like you need to design everything at some other time. All of streams seem interesting. I'm not sure it's something I ever want to do, but like I appreciate that people do them. Like it's really cool to see things come together. Um, and watch as people like test out Kaizo setups and the like. Or non-Kaizo setups is the case maybe. Reminds me there's probably like a tutorial or two I should probably go watch. I've been, I'm, I'm tempted, but I'm not uh, committing to entering the WDL WLDC. I had an idea for something, and I discussed it with a sibling, and she liked the idea, but it's also a very silly idea, so. <laughs> that seems like a cool game. I remember it being kind of like a YouTube bait game, I want to say, like Let's Play, a lot of Let's Players were doing blah 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 back when I cared about any amount of Let's Playing. Cute way, by the way, to handle putting a uh, sprite on top of one of these falling platforms. Just put some sprite-only blocks and let him go. That is really cute. I don't know if I'd call it good. Good, but it's cute. Doors being up a dino is the fact that Manila, you're not, not all doors are in levels Yoshi can't go in helps. That is true. Given that most of the uh, doors are in, like, ghost houses and the like. That's the thing I meant to do many, many times ago. It feels strange to me having a Mega Man style door but no boss behind it. Like, I know in Mega Man sometimes you go through one of those doors and there isn't a boss, but I just expect there to be a boss. It's an intriguing thing. This time I didn't hit the dang uh, ghosty. Alright, so much for that one up that I didn't actually need. I died because I tried to get, even though the exit was half a screen away. Can't imagine. Third world is everything on stream. It's nice to be able to see stuff done with the stream, create with everyone. You ever made a Z2 hack? 
you probably would do everything on stream, but you would need to be in a much more secure place financially and way more confident with technology before starting on that. That is definitely, definitely true. That stuff is hard to get right. Especially like window capture on Macs and stuff is such a pain. Right, we're gonna go do the uh, star levels since I didn't do them. Only three more coins and I'll get the one up. It's true. There's a good Zelda 2 editor. Retro speedrun. Alright. I am not going to make it in time because I'm going to spend all my time hitting blocks. But this is cute, especially after doing... Oh, this is different. What hit it? I can work with this. Alright, that's a one way to anti. Alright, because shells can get things. I need the shell. Crap. Um, come on, turtle. I might be waiting a while. Well, I've already failed the speedrun, I can tell you that, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Spend some time exploring as Mario won suddenly. Oh god, so, um, I generally leave the change character thing on just, you know, in case it works. And usually it works. But in Super Mario Bros. for Lost Players, which is, a uh, very much a, uh, love letter to Lost Levels and, uh, Mario All-Stars, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. And so, uh, we end up with a Mario with a butt glued to his head, which was really weird. And then, uh, Faro also set up, next time I do a stream of that type, uh, shoes, which is just Mario shoes. Um, and that resulted in, like, Mario with shoes for hands. Uh, and basically nothing else. You could see his feet, you could see his shoe hands, and nothing else. It was very strange to play as. This isn't Mario 1 physics, which is why one tile jumps aren't awful. Here, through here like four times. Find all the things. I've only found two things. I don't that much more time. What? Okay, good. I can all jump. I don't know why I would have done that over the other direction. Just a slight bit terrifying. You know, that's fine. I was gonna die any- oh, now I'm dead. Thanks to OBS was a bit of a pain. There's some windows that are literally uncapturable. Interesting, I didn't know that. Uh, at some point you'll get a second monitor where you can share the monitor and didn't want to do that on the main screen. That was a good call. Um, it's one of those things that if I brought- if I do stream uh, PC, I generally try to avoid using my, uh, anything that I was really signed into. When I was on the road and did a couple streams, uh, I actually put a copy of Windows on a work machine. which was So basically it was an immaculate machine with no identifiable data or anything. An abundance of caution. I'm not doing a good job at this spell speedrun, but... 30, I'm, I've used half my time. Still fine. Less than fine. Okay, I was expecting a boomer. I was expecting a hammer bro, not a boomerang bro. Where's the moon then? What's up, Jeff? How you doing? Should come with Sonic, since we gotta go fast. It's true. SMB1 physics? No. Strong disagree. You better SMB1 than that, even the FDS. You know, I actually do have the FDS version here, bizarrely enough. Um, when we were goofing around, Squiggles uh, brought over his twin Famicom, which is a combination. Nintendo, uh, Famicom, and FDS. 
and he has a few games which include Mario Bros. 2. The OG Mario Bros. 2, not the fun one with Princess Peach. No, the, the one that's terrifying. You know what? If I was gonna hide a move... That was worth a shot. Um... Where I'd hide it here. There's a lot of places where I could there's some verticality available, but not that much. I've tried all the pipes. I guess we try this one. But anyway, I, I presently have that available to play in the event that I feel the need to for some reason. Time up. the FPS version of Mario 1? I don't believe so, no. Moon might be over the flag. That's not a bad idea. I should try that. Played the FPS version on your I think I actually saw that. Best beat Worthless and had a gay all the time. Wow. That's, that's a challenging thing to do. There's, that game is huge. I didn't realize it until I made some graphs. Um... For C3, I've decided my, my little C3 thread, since I couldn't make anything else, would be uh, graphs of things that aren't normally graphed, which included uh, Mario Games' world maps as directed... Uh, cyclic, but they're not, just directed graphs. And many of them, in fact, do have cycles. Lost Levels, in particular, uh, Mario 2, is cool. Of, uh, of back paths and side paths, and this is totally where it is. Here we go. Let's still see if we can go up, up, over the top, though, since we have barely enough time, I think, to reach the end if I'm fast. Nope. Couldn't go over. It's not that challenging. It's an easy game. Oh, Doki Doki Panic made you do every level. Yeah, I remember that. That was terrible. Every single level is every single character, is, or every world is every level, is every character is a bit much. At least in my mind. No run button? Really? I did not know that. I've never played the original. Oh. Huh. Oh, running. Oh, hey. I always appreciate these, even if they're a little bit weird. Um, if only I was Yoshi right now, riding a Yoshi. Um, I don't think there was that thick peach hack that had one of these at the end and, like, had every single Mario game in it in the, like, montage. <laughs> Including, like, Virtual Boy games. It was really... The amount of effort put in was absurdly high for that. Oh, there we go, there's a Yoshi. Uh, absurdly high for that for that kind of thing. Especially given that it was like a post-world... I am not doing well here. Uh, Post-game, after... After thing. After party. That's the word I'm looking for. Totally the after party. That's... Yeah, the castle has a moon. I haven't found... I have been... I've had bad luck finding moons in castles so far. Knowing the original had no running makes levels like 1-5 easier since you can realize it's possible without holding the own button. It's a good... Here we have double Yoshi action. Um, I had not considered that. That is interesting. I've been wanting to play um, an SMB2 hack I found on robhacking.net. Think about this. Uh, but it was the one that I was playing when my baby Famicom exploded. It's uh, Beatles themed. Uh, Mario 2 hack, which sounds cool to me. So. Still good? Okay. Yoshi on Yoshi action. 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 Yeah, 
Let's try to keep the fire flower this time so we can kill a few things. Z beetles are every enemy. How am I supposed to go up here? What is the plan? Do we need to come back with a cape? Feels kind of dumb. Think about it. Speaking of games with that feature. Oh, right, that's a red shell. Bye, Yoshi! Here, which one is the top and which one is the bottom? It's the glasses. Always get tricked by those critters. Oh, hey, that's broken. Make sure that's not my fault later, but it looks like the thousands or tens coins are broken in this level. I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. Come on. Delicious. Last time I saw one of these was in a hack by Faro. And Geyser. And they were annoying there too. No more annoying because it was a hundred rooms of enemies style thing. Flesh cafe styles. And you had to make sure, like, to get through the room correctly. There weren't other options, simply the one intended one. Ow. Oh. Not a good shell jump in any way, shape, or form. Oh, there's my cape. This might go back to the be This might come back to the beginning of the game eventually. No! 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 Oh, I have one more power up. Screw it. Oh, wait, I didn't even test the midway, did I? Oh, darn it. Wait till the gravity switches gravity levels makes it even less clear. Would in fact make it less clear. I think I might need to go back and get a power up just to be able to fly up there, which seems weird given the general styles of this hack, but we'll, we'll go for it. Thank you for the G. Oh, I thank you for following uh, Boozy703. I just realized those are both of the capes. Hope you're having a good day. Or middle of the night, whichever the case may be. Right, let's try that again. Let's not lose our cape three seconds into the level. There is something there, I just don't know how I would have ex been expected to get up to it. Actually, even now, looking at it, I'm not sure I'm, I'm supposed to get up to it. it. Might not be a long enough path to get a to get takeoff. Why is Yoshi wearing glasses? Um, because he's really cool. Because he can't see well. Um. This is a character sprite that's modeled after a Yoshi that uh, Carl Sagan uses as sort of his, uh, one of his, I don't know, branding. Carl Sagan 42, the famous Yoshi 2 runner, and uh, also a guy who plays a lot of Mario Maker. It's a Troll Jones, that too, which is probably the most important attribute. Firm believer that trolling Jones is a worthwhile pursuit. Not over there. I'm not sure where the moon is. 
can tell me it's in the sky. That's the end of the level. Hmm. Just have to fall back to sleep. Oh, fair enough. I woke up here and you were in my dream a bit. Oh, I've had that happen where I've left uh, a stream open and then been awoken like later. I'm like, why are there people talking in my apartment? And then come to the conclusion that no, there's not like just really loud people outside my apartment. No, I just I just left I just left Twitch on. It was weird. Well, at least I got the midway, so we can test the midway. I'm still a little bit baffled here. Here's the midway. Where is the moon? Well, that's the midway, and I'll make a note to come back for it. Where'd you even get the Carl and Jez sprites? Um, yeah. Trade secret. I'm going to note to go and find that one. Yep. I'm not sure where to, where to even look in that one now. With the Bandicoot hack, it's perfectly fine to have to come back and do some cleanup. There's an awful lot to do in them. Ooh, Mega Man. Uh, like Mega Man 2, I think? I never quite got what these were. These giant horned things that are flying in the sky for no apparent reason. But you know, Dr. Wily doesn't really, you know, deal in such trivialities. Uh. Oh. I was really hoping I could farm him for infinite uh, points. Oh, it's those. Okay. Interesting, uh. Interesting extra sprites. Only 2k. Slightly disappointing. Airheads? I remember back when I liked airheads. Except the mystery flavor were the best. They're making an interesting challenge, even though I can't really see how they're affecting the, uh, the world. There's no, like, wind telling you, oh yes, there is wind here. But there often is with that sort of effect. Geekies, um, Oni heads. Oh, that makes more sense. Is this Mega Man or Wario? Good question. Remember GDC with this race? It's the patch with different character sprites. Um, I don't think that was in this one. It's definitely from a hack. I think I got it from Carl's Toilet. Um, the thing about it is displaying sprites is actually pretty easy to do. At least the way most things have it implemented is pretty consistent. So... I don't like where I'm at. I want to be on the upper one? Middle one? Definitely middle one. I wonder, if I, I wonder where the moon is hit. I haven't seen an obvious spot for it. What's interesting is him simply being on screen affects the whole, like, gravity thing. The moon is. Dr. Mario. Thank you for the G. That is true. It is shenanigans going on. I probably should remove it. Or get permission. That is a very valid thing. I have a lot more sprites now. It matters a little bit less. Oh, hi. These penguins are weird. Are they penguins? They look like, um, snails.
They are penguins? Okay. Good to know. Where are these from? They're definitely weird critters. New soup we? Ah, okay. I don't think I've played far enough into that one. See them. See those. I don't know if they look all that good in this. This style. The thing about, like, ROM hacking is... A lot, a lot of things you can do don't necessarily match stylistically how much people care about that. Wait. There. Kind of sad to pick the star up because of uh, how much Ice Cap Zone is a jam. Hacking custom graphics in Nintendo's intellectual property, they're expecting those graphics not to get taken by others. It's one of those weird sort of questions, and I don't know if it's one I want to get into necessarily today. There is a sort of weirdness about protecting intellectual property in your thing that is effectively committing some sort of weird intellectual property. Where you're already using other people's intellectual property and whatnot. This is not the place necessarily for that, or not really a time for that particular question, but in general, you should respect that more. Yep. Nope. They're implemented like Rexes. They might actually just be like weird reskinned Rexes. I hate those snowballs so much. Suddenly remember we have wall jumping. I begin. Nope. You hear penguins? Yeah. I don't think they look vaguely like snails to me, but. Let's see which way I'm supposed to go here. Right, there's two options. I can go to the right. Or I can go to the left. I feel like the left is the more interesting option. Goes. The glasses they wear are just DD's cool guy meme glasses. Uh, this has to be something. It has to be a pipe that spawns pants. It totally has to be that. I need to test the midway anyway. For trying to read things. Hooligans, indeed. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of Yahooligans, which was like the children's friendly section of Yahoo back in the day. Did the fireball just destroy that ice block? I think it did. That would have been a smarter order of operations. I, I guess that's a thing that works. Ice on ice. Who saw that coming? I got the thing up there. It was, oh no, I didn't get the thing up there. It's the Yoshi. I want the Yoshi. Solutions. Put that down. Wait for a sec. Not wrong, but in word of another creator being play when it comes to use of graphics. Like Hyper 6 and making a level. Homage to Samari didn't really around for permission. Yep. Is true. Should ask. I really should. I didn't really think too much about that when I was first implementing this. For most of them, most of the sprites now, either they're ones I know that people won't bug me about, or uh, and I probably should remove a couple more. There's a couple more like real people sprites in there, and I'm kind of uncomfortable using those nowadays. So... Of course, it's also that broken uh, Beta Yoshi that uh, Faro started making and then decided to switch to the 32x32 uh, 32 32 character patch. I'll probably remove a couple after the stream. Um, I know Jez has seen me use this, and that's probably close enough to it's fine, but again, it's better to ask explicit permission. 
This Jez also uses a similarly styled Yoshi. It fell off his tongue. That is true. They are uh, specials are based on real life people. The ones that are explicitly Judd. The one that's uh, like actually modeled after his physical presence. And of course, his constant wearing of Apple earbuds. So. Not like this, it's not, it's just shenanigans in the work that uh, you're doing for moderation in your opinion. Shouldn't hurt. To ask, I, it's just one of those things where I definitely have gotten burned by that at least once. Um, where I borrowed some of that permission. I really should just be more careful about that. Especially given that they, there are an awful lot of sprites in this set that are actually just available for anyone to use or are in the category of, um, like, Japanese ROM hackers care a whole lot less about this sort of thing, especially anonymous ones. They're, it's just a different ethos. Things like that. So, either way, it's probably better to uh, be more careful now. It's very different when no one was watching, put it that way. It makes a lot more sense to uh, permission versus... Uh, Forgiveness on a smaller end. Not that I'm a big streamer, but like certainly bigger than I was when I implemented all this stuff. There we go. Now he's dead. We better have a Yoshi for this part. Okay, and then not gonna what's in the bike. Jump on a lot of those computers, huh? What's in this box? Okay. So I got the Yoshi, may as well use them for other applications. And moon. Okay, good. At least I found the moon. to keep this in my mouth for the time being. No! That was neither of the things I wanted. Oh, okay, well, bye, Yoshi. I don't care about that now. Oh. Alright, how am I going to get Fire Flower in the next, like, five seconds? I've already tested the midway. No Fire Flower there. I can go around a loop. I can go back to the beginning of the level. Actually, I can't. I think this is going to keep me from doing that if I don't have a shell. Extreme for 50 viewers. Yeah, I think most of them are asleep. It's fine. You've seen one or two new player sprites in the last while. I probably should look again. Do feel uncomfortable approaching someone that you know and you... I appreciate the offer, Desi. Um, I probably should just, like, ask. Like, on Twitter or something. I don't know. There's probably a medium that's right for this. Okay, what am I going to do? Uh, I think I'm just going to die. I need to get the coin. I'd rather not go have to get the midway again. Try bopping. Oh no, the problem isn't uh, height. The problem is melting the coins. <laughs> There's a physical block between me and that dragon coin that I couldn't uh, get past because I didn't have any fire. I had fire in my mouth with the Yoshi and I had a fire bro. And then bad things happened and I couldn't actually do the thing I wanted to do. So. It was a couple things, it was just a combination of things that did not end up working out in my favor. But we have solutions, including getting another red Yoshi, and this level isn't actually that long, as long as I don't take the detour. Getting enough- oh, getting enough type to press the- oh, that's true, I think I killed the, uh, the one, I don't think they respawn. So that's kind of the problem there. I think I killed everything that I could use to get me up there. It was like, there was a dude in here, but I- oh, never mind, they're right, there's a pipe. I might have been able to- let's find out. Yeah, I definitely could have done that, done it that way. In retrospect, losing my Fire Flower to discover that might not have been the most worthwhile pursuit. Whatever, we'll, we'll swing this one a little bit better. First off, we'll leave this guy alone. And immediately lose my... Oh, whatever. Problem solved. Alright. 
level. I am beating you. Okay, problem solved. Thank you for the GG. GG's. Chainsaw Summit. Oh, a classic. I've always thought that this song would work well as like a football fight song. That it should be used as one, but it would totally work. wasn't ready for that. Also, I thought that was solid. Eh, thank goodness for respawning rules. Where is that gonna go? I think all... Wait. Oh, I needed to get on it there so I could climb upward. Uh, alternate solution? Oh. A little bit too high for an easy shell jump. Wait for a sec. Ugh. Gotta be an easier way. We still need that thing on the way back. Okay. This may be slightly infuriating to watch. Okay, can I... I might be able to wall jump that. I'm not able to wall jump that. <laughs> Leave it to GG, Hawaluta. Alright. Oh, hey! It's gonna make Parcel Solo a lot easier. Since I didn't grab that earlier. I'm disappointed myself. Quite enjoyable to watch. Well, I'm glad that the overall thing is quite enjoyable. I, I was mostly referring to the trying to uh, catch the platform at the edge, because I think I'm doing it slightly wrong, or at least in a not quite as intended as I would like way. We made it really hard, but oftentimes when I'm finding something like this difficult, it's because I'm doing it stupid. I will admit, I have definitely done a decent number of things stupid when I'm playing these games. Castle of WTF comes to mind with my Yoshi duping shenanigans that were totally not the right solution to that puzzle. But I did prove that I could make it work at least once, which was sort of the goal. Ah, didn't grab it right. Oh, that's your burn Okay, excellent, then. I'm glad, it's I'm glad it works. check I'm, that I understand how wall jumping works. Get a little bit of slide and then I can jump. When you're failing at a puzzle, check key assumptions. There we go. In the last Bandicoot hack, there was a very strange mechanic. It was a jump that allowed you to do a high jump in the air mid-air. Which one? Yeah, which one is that, then? I don't think I've ever had that. I've never had that mechanic in a Bandicoot hack. I want to say I played an Apple Boy hack that used that. I'm always kind of curious to see which uh, specific extra moves that uh, given creators are really attached to. But some people really like to go ham with that. Not quite 
white midair, like one of those like um, Wile E. Coyote style jumps where you can do the jump after you fall off something, but not really like during the jump. Maybe. I'm a proponent of Wile E. Coyote jumps. They make the game feel a little bit better often when things are a little bit jank. Bite him. Huh. Try to remember where that came in in the crown tail, because I did moderate the uh, the resubmission of that. I don't really recall that as a mechanic. Again, it's been like three or it's been months since I played that. That was a fun hack, though. Really solid. The last bit was really hard, but. Aside from the end of the hack being really hard, it was a really solid game. Not even really an aside, just like that's just the nature of it. I think every pipe has its downsides. Didn't that hack up a long jump? You had to like pivot and then. Yes, you're right! There was a turn jump! Like Mario 64 style. I want to say there might have also been a long jump thing you could do, and it didn't come up very often. But I think. Yeah, no, I think that was Crown Tail. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, the turn jump was important like three or four times in the hack, but for the most part, you could just kind of ignore it and play the hack as normal. Also, had a long jump, yeah. It had like very Mario 64 inspired mechanics in that regard. Like, it wanted to have those extra moves, but it only used them in a few spots, and I often forgot that they were a thing. So, didn't end up using them as much as I probably should have. Let's not do the dangerous thing just for the sake of doing the day. Eh, we're still doing the dangerous thing for the sake of doing the dangerous thing. Let's slide under it. It would not let it slide. Yeah, I'd love to see a, a hack really tackle those sort of mechanics uh, in a bigger way than most hacks do. again, like, most hacks seem to forget that they have these extra movement mechanics till the very end, or more of the mice or jump style, they only ever use the uh, mechanic in a given level. Portuguese for funsies, didn't quite understand what you were translating. Native Spanish speakers don't understand 20%, or seven, understood like 70% and had to fill in the blanks. I miss those sorts of streams, those were fun. Portuguese is a weird language. Um, just because of sort of its, um, where it comes from. Like, not just Portugal, but, like, that was, like, Spanish separated by a mountainside or something for, like, a hundred years or something, so you end up with a much different version. My sister, who's, like, really into linguistics, explained the exact differences and sort of where that came from to me at some point in the last couple of years, and I, uh, do not recall the lecture well enough to reiterate it. We actually had a fun discussion about uh, Shakespearean sounding I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm just gonna kill him. All of my deaths have been in that little box. Um, Shakespearean sounding yield English because she took my uh, little brother to a play in uh, Shakespeare in the Park in Boston at some point, and he was not into the Shakespearean style of speech. Um, sort of what that that looks like and sounds like compared to modern English, or even what English was spoken around the time of Shakespeare compared to the sort of King James, ye old stuff that we consider to be uh, English as it was spoken around then. Accent straight away from the rest of romance languages, it's super interesting, yeah. Those languages develop is really crazy to me. Things, of course, like the Great Vowel Shift in English. Where everything really changed. Other, like, weird things that are left over. I always like, uh... Things that have negatives in English, but don't have positives. Like, no one ever talks about how they're Brundle. Even though that was a thing. Actual legitimate phrasing. For, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm Brundle. At one point in time. 
people just maintain that they are disgruntled. There's a lot of smart things I could do. That's not one of them. Mandatory penguin. Yo, butchered English. Yep. Free moon? Free moon. Alright, here we go. No. Good luck on your adventure. The switch has been turned into the turns these blocks into those blocks. Zweak. That does remind me, I finally got around to uh, implementing TTS stuff, though it's not on right now because I have a proper module running. Um, and one of my first thoughts after finishing up a good chunk of it was, what's going to happen when someone throws, like, weird uh, characters at it? So, of course, I tried it and immediately crashed. So I had to implement, I had to catch a uh, encoding exception for if people try to throw non-expected character types at it. I thought I was going to get hit there. Are we going to find out what? happens when you actually ride this thing to its proper destination. Did I despawn it? I despawned it. Does this game autosave? Yep, it does! I certainly hope that's not a question related to resetting the game. But my expectations are that it is. Ugh, despawn it again. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. 34% done. Very few hacks measure things in percentages. And it's back to Mario, because once the game resets, it tries to reset all of the, the reasonable state back to its normal, uh, normal state. It's good, I missed him. I haven't seen him in a while. Mr. Mustache Man. You did ask first. That is true. I appreciate that. Um, I was once doing a moderation of a hack. Uh, the, the name of it eludes me. But, uh... Bopple reset it right when I got to a castle, and I hit my last save point was the prior castle, so I had to redo a whole... a whole world's worth of work. That's fine. Once you beat something once, it's not that more challenging to beat it again. It is the nature of it. And that happens automatically. I don't actually have any latitude over it. I didn't reach over and reset the console. It just does it on its own. Because I'm a firm believer that if you can't automate it, you probably should. I think other people, tech people can agree with that assertion if they're still awake. It's an empty box. Oh, sup, VLAN frequencies. You have presented us with an empty box. I think layer 3 is being used for something else in this level, unfortunately, so we're not going to get a cool raid message. But I can always replay it next level. We want to see the message box. How are you doing? How was your stream? I'm doing well. Just been playing, playing this hack pretty much. One of the few things I got done today. Ah, ah I see what I'm here. Been playing Dead Cells. Oh, nice. Um, it does remind me. I did actually check out the uh, that cat game. I uh, saw you playing it a few a while ago. Now I think about it. Um, and you were switching between, like, black and white colors to not die on certain surfaces. It reminded me of Ikaruga in a good way. Um, and thank you for the rain. I always forget to say these things a lot. Um, what did you think? I thought it looked cool. Um, it looked a bit more in the Super Meat Boy direction than I think I'd be interested in playing, but I think it was a really cool-looking game. I think people who are interested in that kind of class of game would be very happy with it. Not a point in it, right? There we go. Gotta be careful here. This is an icy level, so I need to be a little more careful and I will read chat more in a second. Hey, a Mega Man door! This is probably a record? I'm pretty sure it is. There's been like four raids today or so. It's been a lot. 
way more than I often expect. Actually, a lot more than I expect. I expect nothing. Very good to get it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna read more chat once I'm not doing the auto scrolling section. I'm very happy suddenly. Oh. Oh, that's gotta be. Oh, right, Bandicoot hack. Eh, fun. Good time to read things. Uh, okay, I'm going to read. Indian languages are fascinating, surprising how similar the development of languages in South Asia went to the development of languages in Europe. Northern Indian languages developed kind of like Southern European languages did as a vernacular to lingua franca, while Southern Indian languages had their own complex historical development earlier than went on in the Northern subcontinent, like, much like the development of Germanic and Nordic languages. Huh? Yeah, I don't know enough about the development of uh, Indian languages to even make a cognizant comment back to that. I'm aware that there's a ridiculous number of uh, languages in India. Like, people saying, oh, it's just Hindi is definitely a bit of an ignorant statement, though not an entirely expected one. Uh, for instance, my uh, sister's husband speaks Malayalam, because he is from that southernish area of India where they speak that. I wonder how close it is to Hindi now that I think about it, and I've never bothered asking. What's the next one I want to... This one? Get on top of this one, get on top of that one, and I bet this is the moon. Yep. I wonder if I can get out of this without dying. Oh. Yeah, but I didn't get the other coin. Hmm. Malayalam is an interesting one, not close at all. I didn't even get really learn much when I was I went to India for the wedding. Not their wedding, his sister's wedding. Um, they did not want a big production. They are not that kind of people. I gotta find the final dragon coin that I'm missing. I feel it's gotta be in like that trail down there, but let's see. Not well. Oh, wait, there's like a cape over here. So you never know what to expect. I, uh, item boxes that used to have an item may not have that item anymore. Wait a second, I didn't go back up here after beating the level. There we go. Right, cool. Wendy's Castle. Why did I press that? Oh, because there's uh, blocks there. Gotta love these saws. I could have just ridden the saws up. I didn't need to hit the blocks. I want to bet that I can shortcut something later if I do that. Try this again. A different strat. Number three, Wendy's Castle. Beat up Roy first. There's some time before more, probably. The one's favorite level. Wendy's. <laughs> Sir, this is the Wendy's. Uh, thank you for the bed. Oh my. I guess that was the, the thought I was having about text to speech. Is I've just grown to expect people to do weird things that are unexpected. Always better to be on guard. Wendy. Oh no, it's Mario! Get out of here, you plumber boy! This is this Kirby Superstar cartridge is mine! It is my gift for someone. Oh, I don't want to steal someone's gift. That's a dick move. Mario ruins Christmas. You know, someone's probably already done that. Like, Mario steals all the orphans' toys or something. For all... An awful lot of silly... Silly hack stories have been done. Like, Mario does his taxes, for instance. A story about Mario visiting the... Thing. Oh, you, you already stole Lemmy's gift from his dad. That's true, we did! Yeah, Mario's kind of a dick in this game. Man, Mario, why do you gotta be that way? 
stealing people's video games. Power of emulation, you don't have to steal other people's video games. Most of the time. I'm gonna wait for the sauce to go in the opposite direction. Because that feels like the way to go. The fact that Wendy's Castle doesn't have hot drinks playing is a sin. I know that track. Personally, when it comes to, like, wintry levels, I know my personal favorite winter track on SMW Central is, uh, Siren. The classic demo scene track. We'll listen to the mod tracker, but honestly, I think I like the, uh, the version on, uh, SMW Central better. <laughs> Probably getting stolen from in the first place. That is possible. Where the heck is that moved? What is up with the castle levels and having really non-obvious moons? Oh, you came to take my game? Well, Kirby is a fun and easy game. However, I'm not going to go easy on you, Mario. Alright. So, don't jump too high. recognize this track. I also feel like I shouldn't die that easily to this one Koopa. This guy, I gotta say, oh, we got the rings! Bust out the candy rings! Now oh, that is, that is some classic Mario 3 nonsense. I am so gonna die. Easy, she says, we must all be on Spring Breeze. I mean, the Kirby games in general are known to be pretty kind. Like, in part because Kirby, as a character, can just kind of fly whenever he needs to. Like, there's a reason why Kirby is, like, the recommended character when someone's learning any Smash game, except maybe Melee. Because of his, like, eight, six, or seven jumps. His down B isn't great for recovery, admittedly, which doesn't help when you tell people, oh, no, his up B isn't great for recovery. Which did not help my nephews. But... Okay. This is just simple mindfulness. There's very little to dodge in the first ten cycles of this. There we go, candy rings. I miss about like the original like Mario 3 um, Koopa Kids is the massively larger personalities just through their gameplay. See? This is why most of the girls only play Candy Crush. You're an insensitive jerk. Go, take your foolish game. And Mario sets back my gaming relations another century. Koopa's entirely different if that helps is if that helps give a reference point. Almost any words they share in common are from Sanskrit. I'm kind of cherry picking which Sanskrit words you use in the lexicon. And they would sound very different because of accent differences. Many of the words would be but that's or important cultural words like Brahmin. Your understanding is that Malayalam does not have too many Sanskrit words in the language. Huh. Crystalline path. <laughs> Candy crush. Candy Crush? You prefer Crush Crush. I prefer Orange Crush. I think we ate part of the background. <laughs> yeah, I think part of the background's just gone. Oh, Layer 3. What a card you are. Oh, the split stunner? Yeah, the, the timer probably reset because I restarted the game. I mean, it's not, like, that important. I'm not speedrunning this or anything. It's more of a, this is just a interface to have open. Oh. Personally, it was very useful back before I went and changed all of my stuff over. Like, the really important thing was to have the uh, the name of the level in the on the screen when I was looking at my moderation markers. But I've changed how all that stuff works now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, 
now all my moderation markers get exported to YouTube, uh, and subsequently, uh, get tagged with, like, chapter markers. And then my stuff that grabs out all my notes, uh, figures out which level bucket each one fits into. You know, in retrospect... Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to proceed further. Wait, no, no, hold up, I got this bandicoot hack. Well, I am gonna get the moon. But I... Alright, let's see if I can do this. No. Missed the up fight. At least the exit counter is up to date, which is the most important thing. It's true. People really want to know how many exits there are. What's up, DDA Warrior? How you doing? Is that guy here last time? Maybe I... Oh, I wasn't paying attention because of the, uh, the bits at the very beginning. I did almost cheese it. It was close. Bandicoot hacks allow you some interesting cheese. But yeah, this, uh, that overlay is next on my list of things to, to work on. Fix it up. I want to get, like, the chat client I put in there. I built a while ago, put in there as an extra window, because, I mean, why not? Um, mostly the chat client was built so that I'd have something to show for non-SMW games. Or non-SNES games. Really? Yeah, no, non-SMW games. Uh, when I'm doing 4-3, uh, sized streams. Wanted that. Semi solids, never mind. Oh. Expect any of that? Get back from work, eating some breakfast. Nice. Had a breakfast. He's gonna get hungry. And my. Oh, I am. I needed one of those. Well, let's see if I can uh, get another shell. Or get a cape. Capes also solve all problems. Call it cheese, you probably require a mechanic for beating the level. I mean, in that case, it definitely was cheese because you were supposed to uh, use the uh, nuts. You're supposed to use the nuts. Um, you are clearly supposed to... Oh, that's what those are. Those are triangles. They're blue, so I didn't recognize them. Um, use the balloon, but I, I couldn't. No. Breakfast burritos. Jealous. There. Interesting. That's always a good sign. You actually go back with the shell? I ended up having to go back with the shell. You know, I'm kind of glad I waited a minute there. Wait, what? What's this for? Oh, coins. Cool. Using the nuts. You're special. Oh, Red Yoshi House. This is different. Oh, I guess there are Yoshi Houses, and then there are, um... Code houses. I didn't realize that there was an important distinction there. Huh. Intriguing. That was a waste. I do love how he instantly offs himself, though. Quality right there. I'm gonna guess that the last dragon point is just further in the level and I don't really need to do anything to get there, aside from play. Bonk. Yep, bonk. Man. Not gonna lie, this makes me kinda wanna play uh, the OG Donkey Kong Country again. Busted out that cart in a while. That, uh, you know. <laughs> He's a good thing. I've beaten that one on stream. That one in DKC2. Though not very often with DKC2. Okay, 
Okay, that was more danger than we needed. Much more danger. And we wait. Well, this is about where we left off, last level. I guess there was a, a cape in one of these. Definitely a cape. There we go. It's been ages since you played a DK game. I mean, they're still really good. Like, DKC2 is like the pinnacle of the, the genre. And there was that, like... Okay, now I see what I gotta do. Um, weird remake for Windows and whatnot. Uh, that's some, I want to say, like, Spanish-ish speaking fellows, man. It might have been Portuguese, I'm not sure, or uh, Brazilian, but uh, I know Juz played through it. It looked kind of cool for the few minutes I looked at it. Last time you played, might have been on a Game Boy. Those Game Boy ones are surprisingly, like, done for what they are. Your expectation's a little low because it's Game Boy, but they actually look and play pretty good. Especially given their source material. We're just not dealing with it today, Rex. We are not having it. Ooh, what's up here? Alright, we're coming back for that. Say no to munchers. Briefly thought this might be a uh, switch block thing, but uh, nope, it's a regular switch then. Alright, so I want to get in there somehow. This seems like a good way to do that. It's in the pipe is adorable. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of, like, uh, nice touches. People do those graphics. really quick. Actually, after the reset. Then again, every every level that has, like, a moon adds a lot to it. Nice touches indeed. Alright. Well, that wasn't how I was supposed to do it, but I'll take it. I feel like that Rex probably should have hurt me. But he didn't. Well, I'm not going to complain. Hmm. That pipe looks suspicious. It is not, in fact, all that suspicious. Still holding out for the secret ending with all the people in the people lunar room. Uh, it'd be a bit like one of those troll levels that ends in a message saying auto level. One of those really none of what you did mattered. You need to go back to the beginning because nothing you did actually mattered. I'm a bit worried that I got started late here. Oh, never mind. It's not that kind of a level. It's the other kind of layer two scrolling. All of which is best done with the cape. And now, something silly. That was also silly, I like that. Oh, Yoshi! Ah, uh, good old baby Yoshi. I'm getting this far, but now you need to hold right and run. I, mean, I don't think I've tried the the midway, so I'm going to do that real quick. Hey, look, it's not uh, a pit. It's actual lava. You guys look at this part now. Restart and hold right, but not why. I'm still kind of amazed at those setups and how well they seem to work in Mario Maker. Like, it seems like a serious amount of effort 
and building like, incredible machine style contraptions. But people regularly do it. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I watch the Just Troll videos, so. Certainly appreciate those. Did I make one up here yet? Nope. It's in here. I think I knew that. I like, just cannot seem to... That... Ah, okay. Kind of glad I have the Switch Palace right now. Just a little bit of cruelty before I throw you in the acid. get Wind Waker rando working but you have no idea where to go since you haven't played the game in 20 years. That is the problem with randomizers, unless you know the game. The ducking frame looks interesting. Yeah, this, there's a reason why this is uh, Beta Yoshi. Also, what's up, Faro? I didn't even notice. Crap. Hello. Um, Faro made this sprite, but didn't finish it, and so it's uh, that's why it's Beta Yoshi. Because certain things aren't there. But I love the ducking sprite, not gonna lie. Like, the, the shell is so beautiful. Look at that. Problem is, it doesn't have a, you know, upper half. Castlevania time. What the exits am I up to, anyway? If not, uh, looked. I also learned there's a quick way to hardlock my computer. Forgot about that. I never ended up fixing a uh, specific bug. Hey, I got the P-Switch jump at least. Uh, with how that uh, overlay works. If I click on one of the boxes when it's updating, I can no longer do anything and my computer explodes. It's a really bad thing. I actually had to restart my computer when we were trying to uh, do some learnings. In the uh, Mario hack, the Legend of Zelda thing. Which was a pretty cool hack. When me and Havaluta were trying to do the uh, 12 hour challenge, forgot about that. I wanted to look at splits for once. Because it actually mattered. Trying to speedrun something. I don't like where I'm at. I'm gonna let the Eerie go first. Let's grab these things first. Before I do something stupid like that. Oh. Either way, the midway's testing. Maybe some characters could patch the ROM on the fly to make the player use 32 by 32 tile map. I've thought about it, but I feel it's just a little bit too invasive to do to random ROM hacks. Um, I am thinking about seeing about supporting 32 by 32 characters for 32 by 32 character ROM hacks, um, but that hasn't gone beyond the conceptual stage. I really need to download that uh, patch and understand how it works first. Well, I suspect the mo most important things are really knowing where the uh, palette is and knowing where it's storing the characters. Everything after that is probably kind of irrelevant. If I can just change it out from underneath it, it'll work. Hey, another B-Switch jump. Maybe they're free in this hack and I just hadn't noticed yet. Can wait. No big hurry. Three-two by three-two has some uh, distaste for their most recent version of retry and it makes sense. How is it failing in the most recent version of Retry? But yeah, that seems like two things that should behave pretty well together, all things considered. Like, they're not... that... disparate. Like, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for what that to rely on that, is all I'm saying. Oh. 
Oh, there's a wall there. I suddenly understand the actual challenge being posed here. It's quick enough. How in the world would I even get in there? Yeah, that's a lot easier. Look at that. Nice and simple. with a big boo boss that doesn't have a, you know, any form of collision. Wait for him to come back. Nice and chill. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Oh, nice. It's true. Desi knows his Zelda. Cheese booze. Uh, cheese booze would be terrible. Why would, why would you do that? Thank you for the GGs. The outline on-off blocks will change the status of the on-off blocks. But be very careful before activating them. Oh, that thing is basically invisible to me. Alright, they're one use ones. I get it. That was also not what I meant to do yet. Super tired. Did want to pop in and say hi. I hope you do well. I mean, I've got I've got confidence you can do you can have a, a good entry in that. You did do well in the uh, in that 124 hour competition. Feel that you've got more than uh, one good level in you. I think you can do it. I believe in you. Well, I think part of the problem with an awful lot of these sorts of things is my setup does not make it ideal for seeing things. That's not to say that I, uh... Weird. What that section was about. Um... But between the fact that I'm capturing this video and it, I'm using unpowered splitters because my powered splitter induces way too much noise to use on anything that's not the AV Famicom, since at that point, who cares? It's noisy as hell anyway. Really, anything that comes over a composite. Right! That's what the warning was about. Right! That's what the warning was about. get in that pipe. This is the kind of thing I might want to do. Uh... Yeah, no, I was planning on, uh, I guess, yeah, open call. Anyone who's doing a, a uh, winter level design contest level, uh, I'm happy to test your level on stream. And in certain circumstances, possibly off stream as well. If things need to be kept secret or something. On stream is preferred, I'll be honest. This is cute. I like this section a lot. Brain. I have to hop on each one. The beat goes on. You know, I'm just gonna beat the level. Yeah, outlined blue on dark black. Dark background is not ideal. Yeah, that was a cool little section. I really enjoyed that. Game Boy Nostalgia. Alright. This is cute. So many things can be killed by being hit by a box. This track's a bit louder than the other ones. say the orange Yoshi 
has massive contrast against this. I'm getting these coins. Leave me alone. Okay, give it a go. Ah, oh, uh, conventional Mario. Okay, he has less contrast with this. Actually, no, he has a lot of contrast, but he fits a little bit better. Oh, that was the moon. I thought that was another coin. I didn't read that right at all. That was not worth That's one way to kill a thing. Oh. Okay, I, the like weird sweeping thing they're doing is throwing, is throwing me off. Stop doing that, but also I need to test the midway. This is a good response. I need to die. Can you do a Goomba jump with those? I would imagine you can. I mean, I imagine someone can. I'm not very good at Goomba jumps. It's been a long time. Do this background, it's understated. Yeah, I definitely would appreciate any level of power upage right now. A sense of foreboding about this area. I love it when enemies just sort of decide, yeah, I'm out. For the famous Kirby. What do you say about a friendly battle? Yep, the good old Kirby boss. Typically, the most dangerous thing the Kirby boss can do is run at you. Because people have designed their... Uh, their rooms such that uh, it's actually hard to beat. But if he's not in a room with lots of stuff, lots of spikes, he's actually a fairly easy boss. Bye, Kirby. As Mario does the splits. Stylishly. I want to know if Pat could do it. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time since I had learned that Kaizo skill. I learned enough of it to, uh, get to the secret, to get to the, uh, is that like the blue switch palace in Akogari? But I don't think I've used it again since. So. Being the switch palace before the ghost house of giving up. Because I definitely gave up. Kind of sad that relay race looked like it was a lot of fun, but I was not remotely skilled enough to qualify for that. cape, therefore it is not better. Um, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Because we learned a few things last time. He did say a friendly battle, that's true. Um, and that makes a huge difference with those fights. I've definitely had some really hard Kirby fights in this moderation. Not this specific moderation, but moderation in general. Wait, uh, nope, nope, toast. Um, I'm trying to think of which ones have been really hard. It's been a while. There's one in, um, what was it? A Sakari World that I remember being rather challenging. But again, it has to do an awful lot with putting spikes in the middle of the room or up near the ceiling so you can't uh, have high bounces. Or, you know, stand on consistent land.
most of the in intriguing things you can do with those bosses are generally just by modifying their own. And that's how most people play it. I think going into modifying bosses seems like it would be so challenging compared to simply editing the rooms in Lunar Magic. Or why we constantly have Wendy and Big Boo fights as opposed to other things. Got a galaxy brain this. Make sure we don't fail it. Nope, failed it. Alright. I think when I beat this level. What beating this level? First rule of Tautology Club is the first rule of Tautology Club. I'd say at least I'm learning the speed run, but even then, not so much. I think there's a cave here, though. Gotta love the upward slide. It's one of my favorite Mario moves. Under, over, hit this. There we go, that's the ticket. Solve the maze ahead, you must find the outlined on-off blocks. Maybe searching the bottom of the abyss is a good idea. Oh boy, a maze. Okay. So we're just gonna head downward and hope. This is a big maze. I think I just got really lucky. to get a wall jump off something I didn't see. I don't know how this keeps happening. The wall jump patch is pretty common, but it's also very common to have it make those awful noises because it's using the wrong uh, sound register. A uh, shared address or something. There's even a note in the, uh, like, right next to the, the patch that says, hey, maybe you should change this line. Nice comment for uh, people so they can read and understand. Uh, almost. One more. Oop. Clearly something here. The moon. Yeah, that one wasn't great. Um, let's see it. These outline blocks are not easy to see. I think we've said at least three times so far. I don't know if I want to hit that one. I definitely want to hit this one. Hit that one? No. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky man. I only found three. Wow. There must have been a pipe I missed. Let's see if we can find him real quick. I feel there must be like a spot or two I just didn't explore given I'm missing two. Oh, I also didn't test the midway. Distracted by that whole maze thing. Mazes are tricky at the best of times. There we go. I thought there was something funny going on here. One down. 
one to go. He went over here. There's nothing there. Mario three time. Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh-huh. Um, it was my not quite so cape. It's probably better aesthetically to not have the cape while Mario 3. There we go. I can guess the midway. Hopefully, we can find. I, I'm gonna guess it's just in a part of the maze I didn't explore. It's a big maze. Because I think the whole quadrant I didn't end up looking at. Is Mario 3 a character? Yes, it is. Um, if you look at the change character rewards thing, uh, it has a page with all of the characters that are currently supported. Um, uh, not all of the characters, there's a few secret ones that I leave uh, as a secret because they're fun. There we go. But, uh, that's most of them. I need to write up a uh, page oh, what a for the uh, out reward, play a game reward, request a game reward. Just to make it clear which kinds of games are pretty easy for me to play. Or acquire and play. Because I've got like a bunch of flashcards now. Uh, like regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. Bizarrely enough, Saturn. Um, and at least for the time being, uh, Genesis and... Uh, for the time being. And this, this one's for the time being. 32X. But not 32X Sega CD games, though. is such good music. Play this cool Turbo FX game. I think Squiggles might have a Turbo FX. Uh, he might have one of those. I don't know. When it comes down to it, I could definitely ask some favors of certain people if they uh, if they can loan me stuff, but that's a, a different question. Certain things are straight out. I ain't playing no virtual boy games. Those are unpleasant to look at. I certainly am not going to be able to uh, do that on original hardware. I have to buy like one of the three that the man who makes uh, the adapters, VGA adapters for uh, Virtual Boy. He makes like one every three years or something. He lives high in the Himalayas and does nothing but meditate and occasionally build one of these Virtual Boy. VGA adapters. Probably so far into the level. Where? Well, those don't look like jellyfish to me. They look like electric boombas. Next games. No. I am not playing Dance Central. Not even the Star Wars version. Admittedly, the Star Wars version does have bangers, such as uh, I'm Han Solo and uh, Empire Tonight. Uh, as such, no. Not to mention, I don't have the ability to acquire a lot of those for, for low cost. Like, in general, if it's a Steam game or something like five bucks, I don't mind even the cost on that. But, like, I'm not going to like, get a $60 game for a request unless it's one I actually want to play. It's the sort of general rule of thumb. Pretty much any DOS game, within reason. Admittedly, sometimes my computer's finicky about the DOS games. Sierra games don't work, and that makes me kind of sad because of sound engine issues. I have a theory about how to fix that, but that's also one of those projects that's sitting in the ether and has not even been started. We do some x86 reverse engineering. Not even x86, like 16-bit x86. I don't really mind. This level's so awesomely chill. There's no real problem. Relax. 
One of the few things a coin block can't kill. Urchin. Nope, that... That's not... Uh... What? Ah, uh, okay. There's a secret. There's not a secret. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Maybe there's a secret this way. I'm getting the feeling this is not a secret in any way, shape, or form. Also, that I need it. Okay. Maybe the last uh, coin is beyond here. It's right there. Like, uh, the moon's not up here. I got the moon. I wasn't paying attention. Beat it when the level, uh, the overworld tells you these things. So, man, I hate water levels. Good thing holding these blue blocks allows me to go faster on. Okay. What a strange thing to say at the end of a water level. Sort of post-level irony. Did I get the moon? I got the moon. Alright, I think... Let's just take a quick look at how we're doing. I think we have most of the levels completed. Except the castles. I cannot for the life of me find moons and castles for some reason. I know I got the moon in that one. No moon in that one. Flower fields. I didn't find the moon in that one either. I think I got the moon in the Kirby level. I found the moon in the Mario level. The moon in the Switch Palace. So those are easy moons. Missing castle. I got the Mario one one. We made some good progress. Let's, uh, I was gonna say, let me look at the percentages, but I can see the number of exits by going to the screen and say 43 out of uh, 98 is a pretty good start for four hours of work. Yeah, quite a lot done in one stream. There's still a lot to be done, to be fair, and I'm missing a few moons, but you know, a lot got done. A lot more than I would have expected. Anyway, it's 4 30 in the morning. I think we need to find a raid target. One who is hopefully playing some sort of Super Mario World. Um, I have an option. Find. Do, 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 do. I mean, it seems like that's how it goes. I start streaming at midnight. It doesn't always work that way. I had plans to start a bit earlier today, but then I got busy with other things I was doing. Yep. See you later, Jeff. I think we'll stick with this plan. We're gonna raid Jetty. Playing the, uh, the new Celeste act, which is really cool. So, go say hi. Never have a good raid message. Just use your favorite emote. Not lol, because lol doesn't work there. And, uh, and yeah, so we made good progress on this hack. I imagine I'll be back before Thursday, hopefully. We'll see. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, have a late night stream again. So, as I usually say, have a uh, good rest of your day, good sleep, good whatever you're gonna do, and uh, I will see you all next time. I'm gonna push the button now.